for your savings today. In the news, a common sense middle ground approach. That's what President Barack Obama called his plan regarding immigration reform as unveiled during a speech Thursday night. I continue to believe that the best way to solve this problem is by working together to pass that kind of common sense law. But until that happens, there are actions I have the legal authority to take as president that will help make our immigration system more fair and more just. The executive order means those undocumented immigrants who have lived in the United States for five years or more, who are the parents of either American citizens or lawful residents, will not be deported. Before that would happen, they would have to undergo criminal and national security background checks. Their status would be reviewed every three years. A Wednesday night, early Thursday morning protest at police headquarters in Ferguson, Missouri, led to several arrests. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch says the arrests stem from a peaceful but noisy rally that led to the short-term closure of a local roadway. Police have not publicly stated why the arrests were made. The protest comes as the grand jury decision regarding the death of unarmed 18-year-old Michael Brown by the gun of police officer Darren Wilson is awaited. <music> Protesters with the Occupy Central movement have been occupying major roads in Hong Kong for eight weeks now, despite an apparent drop in support. Founders of Occupy Central have also proposed that the student protesters find other forms of protest, citing backlash from the community as the reason for change. The Liberty Beat, sponsored by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online, shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Did you know you can support the Liberty Beat when shopping on Amazon.com? Just log into your account after clicking our Amazon affiliate link at libertybeat.com slash Amazon. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, November 21st, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. The United States has released five prisoners from Guantanamo as part of the effort to close the detention center on the Navy base in Cuba. According to the Associated Press, officials say three men were sent to Georgia and two to Slovakia. The release announced by the Pentagon on Thursday brings the prisoner population at Guantanamo to 143. The documentary 101 Reasons, Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, was released this week for free on YouTube. The film explores 101 reasons to move to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project, an idea officially launched in 2003 to make the state the home for liberty-loving activists around the nation. The film includes personal stories from FSP participants and analyzes the historical relevance of the movement. The Committee to Protect Journalists has released a set of tips to protect journalists from eavesdroppers who might pry in their communications. The CPJ made several recommendations, including only surfing websites with the upgraded web protocol HTTPS. The S stands for secure. This applies encryption to your whole connection and keeps you private. They also recommend email encryption software such as PGP. Text messages and phone calls can be encrypted with TechSecure and RedPhone for Android or Signal for iOS. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat made possible by My Magic Mud, detoxifying tooth powder, the most effective and affordable dental care around. Get a 150 application jar at MyMagicMud.com. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your messenger product? The Liberty Beat is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To inquire further, visit thelibertybeat.com slash advertise. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, November 21st, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Following this afternoon's arrest of Congress on the charge of over 23 million counts of manslaughter, our reporter spoke to Mark Westnick from Savannah, Georgia, just one of the many Americans that has lost a loved one due to the legislative branch's criminal negligence. Because of Congress, my 23-year-old son died two years ago in Afghanistan. My nephew, he lost his leg in Iraq in 2006, and my brother died in Vietnam in 1969. Congress killed my family. Defense attorneys for the now incarcerated 538 member group have dismissed the claims made by Westnick and other victims and released a statement saying their client has been, quote, a pillar of the national community for over 200 years and completely innocent of any and all wrongdoing. Keep checking theonion.com for more as this story develops. This is the Onion News Network.
This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free and take control of the airwaves at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, join us online, drop by freetalklive.com, and enjoy the features that we share with you there. In fact, you can download archives and get interactive. You can actually submit content right there to the front page of the website and vote on what you see there. So if you see something you like, you can vote it up or down, depending on how you feel about it. So coming up tonight, we got a lot to talk about, including someone who actually won a write-in vote. Daryl Perry, you have the story, but unfortunately they didn't end up winning the election. Right. I don't know the details. We'll find out more about that when we get the chance. Plus the Telegraph in the UK covering... The Free State Project, which uh, it's great to uh, get some international headlines. And speaking of headlines, the major story in the world, or at least in the United States right now, seems to be immigration related. Uh, yes. Apparently there's been some big deal uh, with the fel- with the uh, President Barack Obama making some sort of an executive order or series of executive a- orders. Executive decision. Okay. Uh, not unlike what Ronald Reagan did when he was president. But the Republicans quickly forget that Reagan made executive decisions. What's the difference between an executive decision and an executive order? Well, most likely there will wind up being some signing of an executive order. Okay. But basically, you know, as executive, he's made a decision and he will then find ways to implement that. So So I I don't know if there's actually been any signing of orders yet. That's here's, why I'm just saying executive decision. Here's a story from AP. Spurning furious Republicans, President Barack Obama unveiled expansive executive actions on immigration Thursday night to spare nearly 5 million people in the United States illegally from de- uh, in the United States illegally from deportation and refocus enforcement efforts on felons, not families. The moves, affecting mostly parents and young people, marked the most sweeping changes to the nation's fractured immigration laws in nearly three decades and set off a fierce fight with Republicans over the limits of presidential powers. Now, of course, presidents have signed executive decisions as long as I've been alive. You know, it's not just They've Ronald Reagan. They've signed executive orders for longer than you've been alive. Right. Right. I mean, so this isn't anything new, but it has always been, to some extent, a questionable thing, right? Like, right. you know, if there's going to be laws made, there's a legislative process for that. The idea that the executive branch can just sort of legislate from the Oval Office. Well, the executive branch is just that. the They execute the laws, mm-hmm. or they're rather supposed to execute the laws. So... Obama, in this case, is using some sort of, uh, what, what, what's the, the word when a cop pulls you? Discretion. discretion. He, he's using some discretion well, because and the- saying on these certain people that meet these criteria, mm-hmm. meaning you've been in the U.S. for at least five years, you have children that are either U.S. citizens or your children are legal residents of the U.S., we will not deport you right away if you follow these steps that mm. we're going to lay out and you must do X, Y, and Z. Those are the people that aren't going to wind up getting deported right away if they're found. In a televised address to the nation, Obama defended the legality of his actions and challenged GOP lawmakers to focus their energy not on blocking his actions but on approving long-stalled legislation to take its place saying, quote, to those members of Congress who question my authority to make our immigration system work better or question the wisdom of me acting where Congress have failed, I have one answer. Pass a bill, Obama said, flexing his presidential powers just two weeks after his political standing was challenged in the midterm elections. Now, it's certainly true, uh, Daryl, that as the executive branch, he's the head of the police, basically, right? Right. Like, you know, he's the head of the military, he's the head of the police, he's the, the head of the enforcement wings. H- head of the, let, let's uh, not say all police, because, okay. you know, he can't dictate what the Keene police does. That's true. Now, certainly but he Keen could— But Keene police is taking federal money, and so they do, they to some extent, have contracted to be owned by the feds. Right, so, like, he could tell the Keene police what they can or can't do with the, the bear cat. cat that they have— he can send in the DEA and have the DEA work closely with the Keen police, right. but he cannot directly order the Keen police to 
not enforce certain laws. It's an important uh, detail, but it, he is in charge of the federal police at the right. very least. Right, so the FBI, the U.S. Marshals, the CIA, the Capitol Police, and I'm sure there's some other federal policing agency that I can't think of. There's so many of yeah, them. Yeah, Border Patrol, ICE. Like, I've heard that most of the federal bureaucracies have a policing division. You know, there's the park police, there's like, yeah. the schools police, there's all kinds of different uh, police out there. There's an Amtrak police. Uh, from what I understand. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, TSA is mm -hmm. technically under his authority. Yeah. So, I mean, as the executive branch, he could certainly use his discretion, as police can do, to say, well, you know, Congress passed this law, but it's unconstitutional and I'm not going to enforce it. Right. And, and one thing that, you know, as much as Obama sort of gave lip service when he was running originally about, uh, you know, not enforcing super harsh drug laws, or at least that's what the people that were supporting Obama were saying, is yeah. he's going to, you know, something, something, people aren't going to go to jail for weed anymore. But yet, he has the authority to single-handedly move cannabis from Schedule 1 yeah, sure. either off of the list completely or put it down to, like, Schedule 3, but he doesn't do that. Not only that, he could also tell the DEA to just stop enforcing the marijuana laws. Right, well. but there have been more DEA raids in California mm -hmm. under Obama so far in his presidency than in all of the George W. Bush presidency. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan of uh, Barack Obama, but... I mean, what little I know about this proposal, if it's not going to deport some people, I guess that's a good thing. But it's also not a good thing to, to get people into the system, right? Like if so right. they have to jump through a bunch of hoops in order to stay here, and that means you know, being more obedient to the state. Right. I don't support that. Pay, pay your taxes. Basically, this this is a way to where they can say, all right, you've been here for a while. Just start paying us taxes mm -hmm. and jump through these other hoops. Give us protection money and, and, we'll leave and, you alone. and you'll be good. As Obama addressed the nation from the White House, immigration supporters with American flags draped over their shoulders marched on the street outside carrying signs that read, Gracias, Presidente Obama. Despite Obama's challenge to Republicans to pass a broader immigration bill, his actions and the angry GOP response could largely stamp out prospects for Congress passing comprehensive legislation under the current administration, ensuring the contentious debate will carry into the 2016 presidential campaign. And then even in 2016, it's never going to be solved. In 2020, it's not going to be solved. In 2024, 2020. What would it look like to solve immigration? I mean, besides letting people be free and letting people who want to come here come here as long as they've got a place to go and people who are willing to put them up. You that, know? That's what solving it would look like. Right. But the Republicans don't want any kind of reform because they're even calling this blanket amnesty. But wait, don't they want to crack down? I mean, don't they the Republicans want to crack down even harder. Yeah. And the Democrats are like, OK, we just want people to start paying taxes. And the Republicans are saying that, you know, by... Allowing 4.7 million of the 11 million undocumented immigrants, that that is blanket amnesty. <laughs> because the Republicans, for the most part, are out of their ever-loving mind, and they don't know what blanket amnesty actually would look like. Blanket amnesty would say, we're not you know, going to deport anybody. There's no forms for anybody to fill out. Oh, Everybody gets that to be stay. Wonderful. That's what blanket amnesty would be. Uh, that's what I'd love to see happen. But of course, that will never happen with the federal government. I mean, we're never going to see any kind of semblance of freedom as far as crossing imaginary lines in the sand. Right. And one, one thing that is also interesting, the U.S. Constitution says that Congress has the authority to set a uniform policy for naturalization. Not However, immigration, right? That's different. Right. Naturalization, not immigration. But the problem lies in that there's not even a uniform policy of that, let alone a uniform policy for immigration because there's different rules for every country. All right. Your thoughts are certainly welcome here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Also, we have Skype. You can Skype into the show here at username lrn.fm. Your thoughts on immigration or whatever's on your mind. More coming up here on Free Talk Live. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. 
The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm. This time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Are you making sense to the boomer mindset? I'm Holland Cook from survivalspeech.com. 80 million baby boomers comprise 25% of the population and control most of the USA's wealth. As aging parents pass on, they'll control more. Boomers are 46 to 65 years old and regard themselves as midlife. They identify as neither young nor old. They're post-minivan and pre-retirement, and they don't like being called boomers. Boomers. They think me. Many of the purchases boomer couples make are individual purposes. They've been experimenters all their lives. If you want their attention, tell stories and keep it simple. If something seems complicated, boomers can dismiss it as, I don't need this. And if you're looking for work, you may be applying to a boomer, so relate accordingly. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you tired of your taxes funding endless occupations around the world? Antiwar.com is run by people who understand that wars abroad become wars at home, wars on our freedoms. Antiwar.com is dedicated to bringing you the latest in news, views, interviews, and reviews from the top movers and shakers in the anti-occupation movement. Antiwar.com has it all, from thorough foreign policy analysis to interviews with whistleblowers who used to run the military-industrial complex. Antiwar, pro-free market. That's Antiwar.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up what you want by dialing in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online at freetalklive.com. And join us in real life at the Texas Bitcoin Conference coming up March 28th and 29th in downtown Austin. They moved the location this time. It's going to be at the Moody Theater. Last time it was at a big racetrack kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Now it's right in uh, downtown Austin, which I'm excited about because it was good last year. I think it's going to be even better this time around. Loaded with the best and the brightest speakers, the latest exhibitions in Bitcoin, as well as hosting the $2 million Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon 
They've even invited the Texas legislature there to show them that not enacting complicated regulations actually encourages innovation and job creation. The Texas Bitcoin Conference will prove that Bitcoin is a force for good. If you're knee-deep in Bitcoin or just curious and interested, this is the place to be, March 28th and 29th. And there's even a kickoff event on the 27th if you get there early. So go to TexasBitcoinConference.com. Free Talk Live was there last year, and we're looking forward to being part of it. Again, that's TexasBitcoinConference.com. It's coming up March 28th and 29th in downtown Austin. Looking forward to that. Our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. So apparently there's been some big moves in Washington, D.C. today on the part of Barack Obama Many in the Republican Party are upset about this. Barack Obama is saying that he's going to make some changes to the immigration laws to actually apparently allow some people to stay here. Temporarily. Temporarily. Okay. Without see, I, the threat of deportation. I haven't read the bill. I don't know all of the details on this, but apparently it'll target certain people, like people with families, people who've been here more than five years and obviously, you are welcome to share your thoughts at toll free at 855 450 free. Now, this is a, a huge political football. I mean, this is something that of course. comes up every election season on both sides. And I, the Democrats are the ones who come off as more compassionate, they're the ones who come off as, the, as being willing to work with people who are here. Right. And uh, and the Republicans just don't come uh, come across with compassion at all. Theirs is the— We're at nation of laws, right. and if you jaywalk, then you go to prison. And that right. that's the thing that a lot of Republicans don't understand, is that on the scale of criminal offenses, coming across the border illegally is a violation. It is not— a misdemeanor, it is not really? a felony. It is a wow. violation. It's akin to getting a parking ticket or jaywalking. But it's a violation where you could be removed from the country, right? Like that's the Right, punishment. because you know, like you snuck across the line illegally. Mm -hmm. Just like if I, you know, sneak onto somebody's property, they can remove me from their property. That's interesting. I didn't know it was considered it, a it's violation. It's a violation. It is not Federal a misdemeanor violation. Okay. or a felony. So no jail time then. It's no jail time. the detention period. Go 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 home. Go back home. Don't pass go. Don't collect two hundred dollars. I mean, the jail time would be considered the de the detention period. Like if they were held in a detention facility, right, awaiting their but, removal. But there is no, uh, uh, you know, like jail time mm -hmm. of you're convicted. You would spend time in jail. It's you're convicted. You go back home. Let's go to Dalton. He's on the line in North Dakota, listening. In are you in Grand Forks, Dalton? That is true. I am, unfortunately. Welcome, sir. Go ahead with your thoughts. Um, I was just curious on two things that both have to do with immigration. Um, your guys' thoughts on Obama and the executive order he signed, um, and like generally, just kind of what you guys' stances are on immigration. Like, because personally, I tried to call in on a, a radio show, or show earlier today and tried to explain that there is much more pertinent and uh more serious things like the federal reserve but quickly got shunned and <laughs> turned away so uh yeah i mm. figured calling you guys I'd, I'd definitely get some more uh conversation so. so i i think that the executive action or executive order executive decision whatever it is you want to call this thing that barack obama gave a speech and i read through a lot of it i didn't read every word uh I don't think it goes anywhere near far enough. And as far as what sort of immigration policy I would like to see set up, I think that there should be a uniform immigration policy. And let's take the policy that the U.S. currently has with Cuba and implement that to where it applies with people from everywhere in the world. And if you're not familiar with the Cuban immigration policy, that, or rather the policy for Cubans immigrating to the U.S., it's what they call the wet foot, dry foot rule, where if you get onto U.S. soil, you have dry feet, you get to stay. That's what I like about it. I don't like the wet foot part where they have the Coast Guard going around searching for people. Yeah, I was going to say, that doesn't trying sound to put too them friendly. I don't like that part, but the dry foot, let, let's just implement a dry foot policy. And if you yeah. get to the U.S., you get to stay. I don't really care about the whole paying taxes thing 
uh, you know, people always say, well, if you don't pay taxes, there won't be roads or schools. Well, I don't want there to be roads because I want there to be flying cars. And I don't want there to be government schools because private schools do a much better job. Exactly. Yeah, no, that was my argument, too, is I don't think he did. I, I told him, I was like, you know, it has to do with, you know, the 5 million people and whatnot. And uh, basically I told him it's bad because of our welfare state. But then I was like, well, you know, it might be kind of good because if uh, they just suck on the teeth of the government longer, it might bring the collapse down faster. <laughs> it's certainly he possible. Just, he was completely just abused, absurdly angry about that. Well, it at this point, right I, I think – <laughs> I think the Federal Reserve and most government agencies have the uh, thought. Do you remember the Doritos commercials from many years ago when Jay Leno was the spokesman? Eat as many as you want. We'll, we'll make, make more. more. Yeah. So that's sort of their <laughs> thoughts for want, money. It's it like, you know, take yeah. as much as you want. We'll make more. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what I'm trying to tell people. It's like, it, I don't know. I think it's more political theater on the part of, you know, the administration, just like every one of them. You know, they do something to bicker about. Each side fights about it. It's really nothing to fight about. Well, you know, more serious things are happening, like the, at the Federal Reserve. They're just continuously printing off dollars. You know, no one's obviously talking about that. You know? Well, it's, it, the serious thing that's happening here the is this, the serious thing that's been happening here is the crackdown on these people's freedom. I mean, right. there, there have been... Uh, there have been police raids of manufacturers. They have gone right. into small towns where they have like a, a major manufacturer. That's kind of the sort of like a company town. Not, that not a company town in that the company owns a town, but uh, but it's the major employer yeah. in right. the town. And they'll go in and they'll d the, you know hold the employees at gunpoint. They'll search through the files in the office and they'll check over all the employees and then they'll make mass arrests. Really? Of people who, yeah, of people who are supposedly illegal, and they'll decimate the company. The company, you know, can't bring enough people back in to fill the jobs quick enough to keep things going. The town dies as a result of this. It's not the job of the, the businessmen to be the policemen of the whole thing. I no mean, kidding. And it leaves the people alone. It's like, you know, everyone says it, but we are all immigrants. Like, I'm full Norwegian. You know, I am an immigrant. You know, like, my grandparents came. You know, I mean, I'm an immigrant. We're all immigrants, you know, and it's, oh, it's just so I ridiculous. I am with you, Dalton. I share so your frustration, oh, and I appreciate your perspective. God. Thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate it. Toll free numbers 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We'll find out more about what the immigration changes are that are coming. It's Free Talk Live. Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpillett.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com.
This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. In order for this government to be legitimate, it had to have been legitimate in the first place. And that means that every person who was involved, who was on the North American continent at the time, had to have agreed to it. And if it was set up by force, if it was set up at the point of a bayonet, then it wouldn't be legitimate. It wouldn't be any more legitimate than me sticking a knife in your ribs and saying, give me your wallet. Oh, you gave me the wallet. It's legitimate. So uh, the very fact that this government was set up by force, it was set up by killing other people, Mm. means that it's not legitimate. That doesn't even go into the fact that everyone who set it up is long dead. It's been assumed to be this real thing, this valid thing because of the magic scroll. They wrote a magic (laughs) scroll. You know, they got out a piece of paper and wrote it down and voila, and now Mm. it's a real thing that has legitimacy, right? Free Talk Live. Seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want. The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Talking about the uh, supposed executive orders or decisions or actions, uh, they're being described differently, but Obama taking uh, his own initiative to make changes to how the immigration laws are enforced. You are welcome to share your thoughts. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I have mixed feelings about it. Um, Because I like more freedom, and I like the idea of more immigration freedom. And if there's a chance, and I like the idea of decriminalization. I like the idea of, well, you know, if somebody's done something uh, that's not actually a a crime, that's not actually a crime against another human, like, you know, drug possession or crossing an imaginary line in in the sand, uh, then I like to see the penalties reduced for that, and I like to see fewer people targeted for those sorts of things. So... If this actually does result in people, fewer people being physically removed from the United States, separated from their families, etc., then from that extent, you know, to that extent, I support it. But if it also results in more people being obedient to the state, then that really, that really grates at me. Yeah. So we're going to get to you with your thoughts and calls, but also uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That is what readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. At freedomsphoenix.com, you're provided the detailed real news that lies between the lines of propaganda and the relationship we have with coercive governments. Freedomsphoenix.com offers up-to-the-minute updates on the economy, technology, communications, and the rise of the police state. Go to freedomsphoenix.com and get signed up for their free daily dispatch. And I think the police state is an important factor here because, you know, as I was talking about before, there are businesses who have been raided. Because of the immigration crackdown in this country. That's a scary thing to have happen. And they're not, you know, it's not a nice thing. It's the police are coming in and they're holding you at gunpoint. And if you don't do what they say, if you don't turn over the files, uh, you might get hurt. And that, to me, is not the kind of place I want to live. I don't want to live in a place where there's checkpoints everywhere, which is what is happening in the United States. It's not uncommon to be in the southern or northern border areas and come across these physical built checkpoints and also some that are mobile that can move from uh, from location to location to me that's not freedom and that's a pretty scary thing but want to hear your thoughts let's go to the phones janet ladies first you're on free talk live listening in st george to kznu hey janet hi hi there 
Um, your caller just a caller ago was talking about how he was an immigrant or he is an immigrant. Mm -hmm. Um, definition of an immigrant is a person who comes to live permanently in a foreign country. He mentioned that his grandparents came here and he was probably born here. Um, he's not an immigrant. I'm not an immigrant. I was born in this country and I'm just really upset about what's happening. My thoughts are with all of the people who have applied to come to this country legally, who have spent years and thousands of dollars working on trying to come here, and people who have come here illegally just get a free pass. And the other thing is... When but you're it's not a free people, pass. Well, it's in theory, it's a free pass. I mean, they will be able to stay here. They will Temporarily, be able to if they jump through they a bunch of hurdles that are being placed in front of them. Well, thank God for that. And Why? Thing, Why do you want people to have to yeah. obey the bureaucrats? Why do you see value in sitting down with a bunch of bureaucrats and giving them a bunch of money and filling out forms and spending hours of your time? What is the value in that? There is no value in that. It destroys value. It destroys your freedom and it destroys your time and your money. For what? I, I, don't, I don't see it that way. I see the structure through rules and laws. I am not a libertarian. I do believe in the conservative cause. But at the same time, what about the people who did have to jump through those hoops? And now they're being told, guess what? You could have come here illegally and jumped through these, these rules or whatever it is that they're going to set up. Um, yeah, it sounds like what an abused person would say, right? Like, you've been abused by the state, and so therefore everyone else should be abused by the state because you, I'm not, I'm not abused by because the you were That's forced to jump argument. through hoops because you went through their, their arduous and ridiculous, legal, expensive process. Everyone else should be forced to go through that process. And when I say you, I mean have the you, people who have. Have you talked to many people who have come here legally? Have you actually? Yeah, it's hell. It's hell to go and through that process. All for this. They all agree that this is a No, they don't. Process. No, they don't. It's it's no, terrible it's to try to bring your friends and family in through the immigration process. And most people that I've talked to would love to have not had to have gone through that process. We all agree that the immigration system needs to be reformed. Every single one of us, I think, in this country would agree to that. But to have If by reform you mean to eliminate it entirely, then I would support that, and that's about I would it. Like, I would like to see... There, there being less cost for these people to have to pay attorneys and whatnot to do up the paperwork. I would like to see less years. I believe that immigrants have made a wonderful contribution to this country, and they still are. But the ones who are coming here illegally, what uh, attention do they have to the, any kind of rules or laws that this great country, the, the whole reason this country is as great as we are is because we have um, – I don't want to say conformity. It's uh, we're all on the same page. Hey, have we you all... ever have you ever broken the speed limit? Uh, ha have you ever driven like sixty-seven miles an hour in like a sixty-mile-an-hour zone? Absolutely. And if I get okay, caught, I so get hold on. What what about all of those people that are driving sixty miles an hour, and you're just going to get to your destination faster because you went a little faster than they did? That's basically That's what you're agency. griping about is that there, there's agency. horrible yes. immigration laws, and the reason some people don't follow them is because it is so costly and time-consuming that they're just going 67 miles an hour in a 60-mile-an-hour zone and hoping not to get caught. That's what they're doing, and you want to punish them. With no deportation different. and stealing money and years of their life. No, I want them to come here legally. Just then, like that's what. Them. Then lobby to make they the went, laws easier. Don't lobby to punish I people. I already told you that. I already told you that's not an argument with me. Are you and calling your members of Congress, them. or are yes, you just I calling talk them. shows? I am not. I am not. No, I am not. I have talked to my legislators, both here in Utah and in Congress. I am not one of these people to sit by idly and bitches about everything that's going on in this country and never does anything about it. People like their last caller is, well, I'm an immigrant. Does he even educate himself on what the, who the people are that are running for these positions that they're getting voted into? Or are they just uh, going about their lives and putting their head in the sand and saying, you know what, everything is good for me here right now. I don't care what's going on with politics. 
because what's going on right now I'm fine with. What's going to happen when their freedoms keep getting taken away and they end up, oh, shit, I should have taken more attention to what's going on. And the thing that, the, uh, that Obama's done right now, he is literally acting as a dictator. When he takes and uh, creates his own laws, one person is deciding that. How can anybody be? Well, he didn't create his own laws. He's signing executive orders or whatever that will He's, modify how the laws are enforced. But thank exactly. you, Janet, for your call tonight. Um, and I, I do just want to thank her for actually, you know, taking time to contact her elected representatives, trying to, you know, convince them to modify the laws to make it easier. Because there's not a lot of people that actually do that. Do you think it's worth it? Do you think they care? I don't think they care. I don't think they do either. But it's one of those things of, you know, if they get enough letters, then maybe it will sway their decision. Although there are times when, like, the Bearcat situation here in Keene to where mm -hmm. all of the city councilors said, 90% of the people that contacted me didn't want it, but I got to vote for it anyway. Because police want it, and we'll do whatever the police say. Let's go to Mark. He's in North Carolina listening to Talk Radio 850 in Raleigh. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, Mark. What's on your mind tonight? Oh, well, your previous caller made a tremendous number of very valid points. And what I would like to do is stick very clearly with something that is is being overlooked significantly. All right, great. I want you to tell me about it in one moment. Stand by, Mark. We're going to bring you back. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Mark's going to tell us what is being overlooked. We'll find out. And your calls and thoughts are also welcome. You can join us via Skype as well. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, and our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Mirror, mirror on the wall. How did I become so fat? If you're a woman over 40 and you're having trouble losing extra weight, please call the Amberin Hotline now at 1-800-959-4261. After 40, your body changes, and so should your weight loss strategy. At Amberin, we specialize in breakthrough solutions specifically tailored to women over 40, including hormonal balance, relief from menopausal symptoms like hot flashes, and you can lose pounds of stubborn extra weight in just weeks with Amberin Weight Loss. Right now, through this special radio offer, you can get a 100% risk-free trial. Just call 1-800-959-4261 now. So if you're a woman over 40 and you're tired of looking in the mirror and not liking what you see, call the Amberin Hotline today. Hurry. This limited time 100% risk-free offer won't last forever. Call 1-800-959-4261. That's 1-800-959-4261. Again, 1-800-959-4261. The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Many 
manufacturers. If you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. Call 800-917-8251. 800-917-8251, 800-917-8251. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free and bring up whatever you'd like. doesn't have to be about immigration, though. Certainly that's on a lot of people's minds right now, considering... There's big news. Uh, Barack Obama is using executive order abilities, apparently, to modify the way the immigration laws are enforced uh, to try to give some people, apparently, an alleged path to being able to stay here for longer legally. At least that's my understanding, Daryl, based on what you've said. Uh, There's a little bit more here to the story from the AP. We can get their summary in a moment. Uh, The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. And you can join us on Skype as well. Skype username is lrn.fm. If you like Free Talk Live, you like what we're doing on the show, please become a Free Talk Live amplifier for 5 bucks a month. We'll take that $5 in and we'll invest it into Free Talk Live and use that to expand the show, to get on more radio stations around the country, to bring new internet listeners on board, and expose new people to the ideas of freedom. You get perks like access to the Amp Only call-in lines, the Amp Only podcast, uh, the Amp Only Facebook group as well. Go get all the details over at amp.freetalklive.com and sign up. It really makes a big difference for us when you do that. That's Amp dot freetalklive.com we've got mark back with us listening to talk radio 850 in raleigh mark you were saying that something has been overlooked and i wanted to make sure you had a chance to get your thoughts out so please go ahead okay thank you yes one of the problems that i see is everybody is standing up with their pious attitude going on these emotional arguments of oh they're trying to improve their lives oh they've been here for so long oh we're breaking up families blah 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 well The reality is, and it's a cliche at this point, we are indeed a nation of laws. The supreme law of our land happens to be the United States Constitution. That Constitution very clearly delineates and enumerates the powers of the executive, judicial, and legislative branches of government. Now, having said that, within the legislation, which was approved by the President of the United States at some point in the past, the legal path for immigration is Form N-400, followed by Form I-130 in the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. That is the legal way for doing it. You must qualify under certain aspects of that. Let, that let me ask you a question law. real quick. You, you mentioned okay. the U.S. Constitution uh, as yeah. the supreme law of the land. Which yeah. uh, section of the U.S. Constitution authorizes Congress to make any kind of law dealing with immigration? Well, wait, 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 wait. The laws that are established are established. The, the president has very specific, the government has specific enumerated powers, of which immigration is one. No, it's not. Naturalization. The part one article, or section one, article eight says that Congress can set a uniform procedure for naturalization. It says nothing about setting immigration policy, and there was no federal immigration policy or immigration law at all until 1872 when there was a law passed to keep out people from China. 
Okay, fine. That's okay. Uh, granted that. However, Title Eight of the U.S. Code, Section 1324, talks about bringing in and harboring certain aliens, which, very specifically, Paragraph 8, any person, that also includes the president. Cause it I don't, we don't need you to read the government's code. Okay, I, the, You've the already simple, had it batted simple, back in your no, no, face the, that it's not constitutional, so that then, code then, is then, probably not constitutional. Okay if, it's not, okay, if it's not constitutional, then the United States Supreme Court needs to strike it down. In the interim, and sure, just they at, do, right around when, right, the right when they get down to just striking down all the other unconstitutional laws in this country, there's all kinds of unconstitutional stuff in the United States. The Supreme Court never even hears those cases. Okay, so, so let me get to the point of what I was getting okay. to, which, yes, there are unconstitutional laws. Obamacare is a huge one. Okay, agree. Nevertheless, nevertheless. The law is the law and must be followed. Until That's ridiculous. It is down. Wait, 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 wait. It, it, there are penalties by the law that was signed in by the representative government that we have. Now, you don't like it, that's fine. But what we're talking about is the president changing the specific law because there are very specific penalties for harboring, bringing in, employing in that Title VIII, Section 1324. There are penalties. That is legislative law that has been passed and signed into law by the president. The, not this president, but this president cannot go through with an executive order and change that law. That is not constitutional, and in doing so is guilty of obstruction of justice by the other section, which Title 18, Section 1505. The president can't do what he's doing. Legal. So let, let me ask you this question. <laughs> let, let me ask you this question. In 1857, there was a law called the Fugitive Slave Act. I, I'm sure you've heard of that one. If President James Buchanan would have said that the U.S. Marshals will not enforce the Fugitive Slave Act, would you have called for his impeachment and said that he was violating the U.S. Constitution? The law itself should have been not allowed by the uh, judicial branch. That did answer the question. Because that violates that. You, you didn't the answer the question, though. Okay, please repeat your question again. In 1857, there was a law in the United States called the Fugitive Slave Act that said that any person who came across someone who was a fugitive slave must do everything in their ability to capture and return that fugitive slave to his alleged owner. The state of Wisconsin, the legislature there, passed a bill saying we will not enforce this law in this state. The Supreme Court of Wisconsin upheld that as constitutional. So in Wisconsin, right, exactly. the Fugitive and Slave Act was so. not in effect. If James and Buchanan, right so. the president of the United States of America, would have said that the U.S. Marshals will not implement and not follow the Fugitive Slave Act, would you have said that he was being a dictator and a tyrant for failing to enforce a law that was passed by the legislature? Absolutely. So Absolutely. you, so so you the really are just a mindless uh, automaton. No, then. it doesn't matter. We're a nation of laws. Not. Every law should be no. enforced. You don't even see the contradiction, Mark, in what you said. I'm going to see if I can point it out to you here. You said at one point the law is the law, and then you also said the president can't do what he's doing. So is the law the law, or is it just a bunch of men doing whatever the flip they want to do in Washington D.C.? Which one is it? Well, at this at this point, it's a bunch of men doing what the. Flip at what they point want to do. was it anything it, but it that? Disregard with total disregard. At what point, sir, was it anything but a bunch of men doing whatever the hell they want to do? Okay, and we're talking about simple this question. President with this simple question. Uh uh. No, we're talking about the whole thing. At what point was it ever anything besides just a bunch of men doing what they want? Well, then maybe we should just take and bring up our arms and go into straight, absolute, complete anarchy, because that's what it sounds like you really, really want. No, no I don't law, believe don't in violence. About, don't, don't, worry, don't worry about it. No law. I don't believe in violence, sir. Police. That's what you're advocating. You're no, the one Darwinian advocating violence. Law, Darwinian law, strong survive, don't, anarchy, don't worry about the law. What makes Nobody you think this is an anarchy? What makes you think this is an anarchy ruled by a criminal gang calling itself the U.S. federal government? That, that would be all I And I absolutely agree that it is. I totally agree. In fact, <laughs> that's why I have a big issue with some of these 
crackpots that have an issue with voter ID because Charlotte, North Carolina, had a real nice turnout of 165-year-olds voting Democrat. But there's no fraud. Well, you just keep going right on and paying your taxes. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Thanks, Mark, for the call tonight. Thanks for the, uh, appreciate the opinions. You, you can say whatever you want as long as you pay taxes. They'll, they'll be fine with it. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. It's a re- real common refrain among some of the callers to Free Talk Live is, the law is the law, and it's a nation of laws, and there's all these Poorly sort of written and randomly enforced. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know if randomly enforced is the right way to, to look at it. Well, I mean, sometimes they, they, they let they people want. sometimes they let people off with a warning for speeding. Other times they give them a ticket. Uh, that's sometimes more arbitrary they let, than random, isn't it? Eh, arbitrary, random, it's two sides <laughs> of the same feather. Well, I mean, random is more like eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Arbitrary is like, oh, she's pretty. I'll let her off today. Yeah, that kind of yeah. thing. But, yeah, it is the rule of men. There's no rule of law. Anybody who's actually spent enough time uh, observing the state, whatever aspect, whether it's the legislature, the executive, the judicial branch, you know that it's all a joke. The whole idea that that the law means something. As soon as the law gets in the way of the state, it's just discarded. I mean, even even right here in New Hampshire, rule number one of the district courts is that the rules can be waived. (laughs) Yeah. So, I mean, at least, you know, to give the courts enough credit, they've actually come right out and admit it in their first rule that really there are no rules if the judge decides there are no rules because he can waive them at any point that he wants to waive them. So that should be a real clue. And then you've also got, of course, you know, the legislature constantly, and as that caller admitted, con- you know, passing illegal, unconstitutional things. And then you have to hope and wait for somebody to actually challenge that particular illegal, unconstitutional thing, and then spend another you know, decade through the court system, getting through up to the Supreme Court, ultimately, where maybe they'll make the right choice, maybe they won't make the right choice. And of course, then you could appeal it again, and the next Supreme Court might make a different choice, because it's all completely arbitrary, uh, and based on the rule of uh, and the whims of men. 855 450 free. More coming up. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, November 21st, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.24 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,194 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $350. 
Antiwar.com reports another Syrian province looks set to fall out of Assad government control soon with Al-Qaeda's Jabhat al-Nusra sending some 2,000 fighters against Bath City and Khan Arnaba, the last towns they yet control in the Kenitra province. The Kenitra province covers the Syrian side of the Golan Heights frontier with neighboring Israel and has been seized by Nusra and some other more moderate rebel factions for months. Syrian officials warned that it could be the second second province lost after Raqqa, which is entirely under control of the Islamic State. Arguably, however, Deir Izor province has also fallen, as materially all of it is also under control of the Islamic State, apart from a handful of villages. Israel has largely supported the rebel takeover of the region as a way to oppose Assad, though a number of towns along the disputed border now openly fly Al-Qaeda flags, suggests that this could be a long-term threat for Israel's occupied portion of the Golan. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports, while the midterm elections brought political shifts on both the national and state levels, a new poll suggests the U.S. public doesn't see it that way. About two-thirds of the respondents to the NBC News Wall Street Journal poll said they believe the United States is heading in the wrong direction, and more than 75% said the election won't change the direction, while 41% were pleased that the Republicans now have control of both the Senate and the House, 39% disagreed. Fred Yang, who conducted the poll, said it's almost like the election never happened. Just over half, 53%, were happy about the election results and 40% had a negative reaction. There was more enthusiasm for the Republican victories in 1994 and the 2010 midterms. While President Obama's approval rating remains low at 44%, respondents were somewhat more likely to believe he will try to work with Republicans in Congress than that they will work with him. The poll found 82% support for action to lower the cost of student loans, 75% want more spending on infrastructure, and 65% would like to see an increase in the minimum wage. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760 Reuters reports President Obama imposed the most sweeping immigration reform in a generation on Thursday, easing the threat of deportation for about 4.7 million undocumented immigrants and setting up a clash with Republicans. In a White House speech, Obama rejected Republican critics who say his decision to bypass Congress and take executive action is tantamount to amnesty for illegal immigrants and urged them to pass comprehensive immigration reform legislation that the Republican-controlled House of representatives has blocked. Obama said, today our immigration system is broken and everybody knows it. It's been this way for decades and for decades we haven't done much about it. With nearly 11 million undocumented immigrants in the United States, Obama's plan to let nearly 4.4 million who are parents of U.S. citizens and legal permanent residents remain in the United States temporarily without the threat of deportation. They could apply legally for jobs and join American society, but would not be able to vote or qualify for insurance under the president's signature health care law. The measure would apply to those who have been in the United States for at least five years. An additional 200 170,000 people would be eligible for relief under the expansion of a 2012 move by Obama to stop deporting people brought illegally to the United States as children by their parents. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Joe Chris Beckman. From claim jumpers to politicians to coyotes, the straight shooter that shook up the presidential race is taking them all on and licking them good. Hello, Joe. Who and what's behind these potato monkey shines? Well, these scientists are trying to mass produce potatoes that are more resistant to disease, but they're doing so in potentially dangerous ways that alter their DNA. Hater disease, what brung us Irish? Right. You give a 
dictator, man's constitution, you can bet he's coming to play old Joe to call. Yes, well, nature's revenge could come in the form of disease now you listen or to allergens. Me, taters. You got gave a mind of a tater. Joe, please, l l let me make my point. You're tater-minded and you're looking to infiltrate old Joe's cabin, but you're too late. No. Now you get out or I right, slice your tater heart out and fry it up on my okay, grill. Okay, Joe. Now you all stay close. you going to have my jug band back here and Jasper don't let me strum the worst part. We're going to resort to cutting. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up what you want by dialing in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Well, it's not blanket amnesty, as apparently some people have called it, and it's not a total crackdown, as some people would like, but it is sort of a mixed bag. The yes. uh, Barack Obama decision today, executive decision, or whatever you want to call it, where he's going to somehow change the enforcement of the immigration laws. Some are claiming he's changing the laws themselves. That seems like an inaccurate statement, but honestly, I don't know what the, the rules are, and neither do they, <laughs> and neither do you. You may be able to look at the U.S. code and cite sections like our last caller did and talk about how the law is the law, but the government guys don't follow their own rules, and there's so much evidence that they don't follow their own rules. They do like it when they can force you to follow them, so the rules become important when you violate them, but when the government guys violate them, it becomes next to impossible to actually hold them accountable for that, or very, very difficult to hold them accountable. You're welcome to, uh, to comment. There's a little bit more on the story. We actually just barely scratched the surface from the Associated Press on what are the details of this this immigration change that is supposedly coming forth, although rumor, I think I saw a headline at the Drudge Report that Joe Arpaio has filed a lawsuit against this. So, okay, you know, maybe they'll tie each other up in court and fight with one another over this for a while. I don't know. We'll go to your calls, though, about whatever's on your mind. Nick is listening in Boston. You're on Free Talk Live, Nick, with Ian and Daryl. Do we have Hello. Nick? Hello. Yeah. Hey, can you hear me? I got gotcha. you. Go ahead, Nick. Hey, I'm talking about Dave uh, in New York, uh, Hudson Valley guy. Okay. Um, Dave called recently and made, and called this guy, dude like hella. Uh, he called, who lives in Alaska, Dave called him a leech. And said he'd never worked a day in his life, and really said some nasty things about this guy. This is a guy and, um, who is apparently a YouTube vlogger, a video blogger. This uh, dude, like hella guys, is who Dave was referring to. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, Dave uh, was, you know, pretty mean, um, and I just think it's interesting because uh, Dave, uh, I mean, he lives in a battered women's shelter for one thing, and he. He is the recipient of government assistance, and he's been out of work for a long time, and he just recently started working at Dunkin' Donuts. And the second he gets a job, he starts bad-mouthing someone who's, who's also, you know, on, on uh, government assistance. And I just think that's really a weird Really, the YouTube thing. guy so, is also on government assistance? Well, that was Dave's claim. Dave said he's on welfare. And, no, uh, I wouldn't necessarily believe Dave, what— I wouldn't necessarily believe what Dave says. Now, you sound like you're you're kind of informed on Dave. Are you one of the guys who's kind of been following his exploits on the Internet for a while? Yeah, I've been uh, I've known Dave for almost 10 years. I met him on a Howard Stern message board, and <laughs> Dave, like, didn't even like Howard Stern. He was just there to, like, <laughs> make friends and uh, or whatever. Or, like, Dave isn't good at making friends. Like I mean, when have you ever seen Dave make a friend online? I, I'm curious to know if Dave is good at making frappy latte mocha chinos. Yeah, I think if I asked Dave for a large regular, he would mess it up, like, in two seconds. So. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how. I don't think Dunkin' Donuts is going to work out for Dave. I mean, I don't think there's anything Dave can really do. Ultimately, like he can't drive cars. He used to work doing that, but he's gonna. He can He makes videos driving, like with the camera facing himself, looking at the phone, like saying how dangerous it is while doing it. And there's a video of Dave like saying he needs a job, but meanwhile he's driving and making this video. Like, who is going to hire you if they see that? Like, it's ridiculous. Like, Dave is his own worst enemy. You know? So, uh, you're talking about our caller who's been calling the show probably for at least a year plus now. Yeah. I don't know how long it's been, but... It's uh, been a while. Yeah, it's been at least a year. And uh, Dave from New York, he lives in the uh, the Hudson Valley in Poughkeepsie. 
and his YouTube handle is Hudson Valley Guy. And I think I thought NY. it was number one, but hey, he's got he's like changed five. It. I've seen five different yeah. YouTube he really channels cranks out the videos. with some of his videos. He he really just cranks them out, and uh, some of them are pretty entertaining, but not for the reasons Dave you know might think they're entertaining. And so, Nick, you found him on a message board a decade ago on a on a uh, Howard Stern message board. Now, you were were you in Boston at the time, or were you in the Poughkeepsie area? Like, what what made you interested in Dave? I'm sure he wasn't, you know, the only interesting character on a Hutz, uh, on a Howard Stern message board. Well, I guess it was like Dave typed in all capital letters, and uh, he misspelled like every other word, and he. He typed the N word a lot, and he misspelled that. And he, he just like didn't seem to be trying to impress anybody, but at the same time, he just he seemed really lonely and wanted like just to be understood. And like he wanted to yell, and nobody could understand him. People were just goofing on him, and uh, I think he repels people. And I was just drawn to him because like yeah, I don't know. I think he's a charismatic guy. There's just something really interesting about Dave that is hard to uh, quantify, but uh, I'm not the only one. Now, like, are you uh, one of the guys who's like been giving him a hard time online? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, like six months ago, Dave would have told you that I'm his best friend. Uh, really? Like we were that close. We've never met, but he, for a long time, he said I was his best friend. And for a long time, I defended Dave, and I never said anything bad about Dave. But I just sort of uh, uh, was there for the ride, like experienced Dave, because there's a certain uh, like. It's just not, the way Dave sees the world and reacts to the world is like nothing I've ever seen before. It is a fascinating um, channel. I mean, the Hudson Valley Guy channel on YouTube. There's a lot of uh, videos there where Dave is, uh, he repeats himself a lot in the video. So you can usually watch about a minute and kind of get the gist yeah. of, uh, of what it's about. But if you really want to hammer the message home, then whatever the message is, sometimes it's him uh, talking about how he wants to get a date or other random uh, topics, wanting a job, etc., where he's living. Well, wanting to hire some lady to get him, quote-unquote, groceries yeah. a couple of times a month. <laughs> so it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty like interesting. The, go ahead. Yeah, like the guy has nothing to do, but he needs someone to go get his groceries. Like <laughs> <laughs> Groceries. I mean, just stuff. Uh, so stuff like that is just priceless, and only it's only Dave. So Nick, okay, so you've been following Dave around for about a, a decade online, and he's known for well, when he first called the show, he was complaining about people making fun of him on the internet, on these local message boards, you know, that are focused on the Hudson Valley in New York, like New the, the rants and rave section of Craigslist, Craigslist and a few other places. And uh, and so that was what his gripe, gripe was. And we tried to, you know, not knowing anything about Dave right then, we tried to explain to him, well, look, you know, if you're not, if you're not wanted somewhere, then you can go somewhere else. There's a lot of places to go on the Internet. And then when he came on the Free Talk Live BBS, it became pretty apparent as to why uh, it was that people were giving him a hard time online because he was also being very rude uh, to people. So it's one of those things where, you know, don't dish it out if you can't take it. And Dave definitely couldn't take what uh, what he was dishing out. And if he were to just calm down and not insult people and be rude to people on the Internet, maybe he would have better luck. But he just doesn't seem to take that advice. Um, I mean, and you as a, as a former friend, uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, I just don't think Dave, like, uh, knows how to interact with people. Like, he, he basically Dave has Asperger's syndrome. And, like, as an example, I Dave said he was my best friend. And I, one day I was like, hey, Dave, my dog died today. And Dave was like, oh, yeah, I got to work later. Like, just like that. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I, was, so, I mean, he doesn't really understand other people. Like, he doesn't, he, 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 we're speaking, like, different, he, he can't understand the, the complexities of social interaction. So, like, Nick, uh, how did you end up? How did you end up listening to Free Talk Live? Was it because Dave was posting clips of his calls to Free Talk Live on his YouTube channel? Like, what made you aware that he had come to this community of internet people? Uh, it was the YouTube clips of uh, Dave being on the show, and I love Dave on your show. Like, I love you guys interacting with Dave. It's just amazing, you know. And I think you guys Dave, get Dave a little bit and how to. I well, like I mean, if there's an argument that libertarians tend to have Asperger's syndrome as so well. So what but. did you think of Consuela when Consuela <laughs> answered the phone that one time when Dave called in? Uh, 
I must have missed that one. Did oh, I you missed that one. Oh. What should he search for, Daryl? Uh, this is how one. Ian treats callers who call in after the show. Yeah, try that one out. Nick, thanks for the call tonight. That one was pretty funny. It was an after show thing where Dave kept calling the back line here in the studio yeah. over and over again. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can share your Dave memories or bring up whatever's on your mind here. we got immigration. Uh, we can come back to that. And Daryl will be telling us about the write-in candidate who actually won but ultimately didn't. We'll get right. the details. Free Talk Live. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Toll House Refrigerated Cookie Dough. Who would you bake some love for? Find fun and easy baking ideas at tollhouse.com. Kids love doing arts and crafts projects, especially when you join in. Try channeling all that artistic energy into the kitchen and bake up some creative treats together. Think of your art supplies as the frosting, sprinkles, and decorating gels, and use cookies or cupcakes as your canvas. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This 
This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733, whether it is your opinion on immigration or whatever you want to share with us. Again, you can join us here. If you've got Bitcoin and you need wheels, as in an automobile, a truck perhaps, New Age Auto Sales has late model used cars that they have cared for in their rental fleet. Since New Age Auto Sales is selling their own well-maintained cars, that means that the auction fees and transport costs don't get passed on to you. Their cars are in great condition and they are priced to move. They can ship anywhere in the world. Go to NewAgeAutoSales.com and check out their inventory. They're looking to become the Bitcoin auto dealer. But if you, of course, don't have enough Bitcoin, then they can help you out with uh, financing as well. With Bitcoin, of course, your money never needs to be exchanged into dollars. It's newageautosales.com for late model, well-maintained cars shipped anywhere in the world for Bitcoin. Head over to their website and you can find them at newageautosales.com and get your car from the first Bitcoin auto dealership. That's newageautosales.com. As we continue here, in the last hour, we started a story from the AP about the uh, decision here by Barack Obama to take some executive actions on immigration today, apparently, which will, according to the AP article, spare nearly 5 million people uh, from immediate deportation. Not that they're holding immediate. on to Immediate. That, that, right. That's the key word there. Immediate deportation. I was inserting that word because you had said that it would extend how long they could stay right. if they jump through some hoops. Also, according to the story, I'm jumping through a little bit here just to get some more details. While Obama's measures are sweeping in scope, they still leave more than half of the 11 million people living in the U.S. illegally in limbo. The president announced new deportation priorities that would compel law enforcement to focus its efforts on tracking down serious criminals and people who have recently crossed the border, while specifically placing a low priority on those who have been in the United States for more than 10 years. So again, you know, if they're actually going after criminals... Like people who've hurt other people, because I don't consider you a criminal if you just didn't file some government paperwork. That's not a crime to my mind. Right. To be a crime, it has to be something that causes harm to another person or their property. Um, so if they're actually going to reorient their enforcement end of this immigration thing to actually go after people who are sort of known wanted criminals who are here, that's less of a bother to me. Uh, than cracking down on families and people trying to make a better life for themselves. Although it does say here that they will also be tracking down people who've recently crossed the border. So it's not like they're backing down on right. that. In fact, from what I read, there's you know going to be a larger enforcement mechanism. Uh, I don't have all the details, but we'll give you more here as we learn it. You're welcome to comment at 855-450-FREE. He insisted his actions don't amount to amnesty, saying, quote, amnesty is the immigration system we have today. Well, that's not a true statement. No. No. Millions of people who live here without paying their taxes or playing by the rules while politicians use the issue to scare people and whip up votes at election time. Now, the last part's true. P politicians yes. definitely use immigration as an issue to garner votes and get support and get donations. They're not paying their taxes. And as you pointed out, They Darryl, use our roads. Nothing really changes. So the politicians use this as an issue, as a political football. These are right. people's lives. But generally, you know, there's no real significant change. People are still coming here. There hasn't been a total crackdown at the border. Uh, thank goodness. And just as in 1986, when there was, you know, what was being called amnesty was signed into law by... Oh, Right. Reagan's Reagan. a Republican. Mm. He's a Republican. And then a year later, unilaterally, he decided to expand people that were eligible for what was being called amnesty. Four years later, in 1990, George H.W. Bush decided to expand that to allow another 1.5 million undocumented spouses and children of immigrants to then become legal U.S. residents. Were there Democrats grousing about that at the time? I wonder. No, if the, there no, also okay. weren't really Republicans that were grousing about it because they were members of their party. Right. So I want the people that are really mad at Obama to call in and explain to me why it wasn't <laughs> wrong for, Ronald, for Reagan. Ronald Reagan and George H.W. Bush to act unilaterally because— as the one guy said, mm. we're a nation of laws, and the law says blah, 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 blah. 
Okay, well, explain to me why the law didn't say that when it said the exact same thing, but a Republican decided to do something else. If you can answer Daryl's query, feel free at toll-free number 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. According to the AP story, the main beneficiaries of the president's actions are immigrants who have been in the United States illegally for more than five years, but whose children are citizens or lawful permanent residents. After passing background checks and paying fees, those individuals can now be granted relief from deportation for three years and get work permits. The administration expects about 4.1 million people to qualify. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that this is the part of this I don't, I don't care for. I, I don't like the idea that this is going to encourage obedience, that this is going right. to uh, encourage people to become part of the system. I'll understand why people would do so. You know, because they are living in the shadows, so to speak, and it's not an easy life, I'm sure, especially when you have people who can take advantage of you because they know you're living in the shadows. Right. So that can be a bad situation. And I, I wouldn't blame anybody for trying to jump through these hoops. But of course, once you get into this, like if you are somebody who's been here, as they're saying, for more than five years, you've got a family, etc., and you hear about this, once you get involved in this, then they, they know where you are. Like right now, they may you're not on their radar necessarily. You could be snitched out by somebody. They they could accidentally pull you over. There are ways that they could find you. Right. But they're definitely going to know where you are if you come to them and say, "Hey, I'm here to apply for this program or this whatever they're going to call this, yeah. however they're going to go about this." So if this is implemented any in any kind of meaningful way, like the Immigration Reform and Control Act, which is what they called amnesty that Ronald Reagan signed. What that did was gave people who had been here for roughly five years or more legal status as long as those people admitted guilt, paid a fine, mm. and back taxes. So what the hell's the difference? It sounds like the same plan. Yeah, basically it is. So <laughs> it's not in any way amnesty. It's give us a bunch of money Tell us you were a naughty boy yeah. and give us a bunch of money. Let's go to – what's the, that's all the government's really about, right, is obedience and money. Mark, you're on in Delaware, Ohio. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, just want to call. Uh, there's so much hypocrisy in what's going on, I, I just can't believe it. Uh, how many times do I have to hear a tea partier tell me that, they, that people need to play by the rules and pay their taxes uh, – when on the other side of their mouth, what they're supposed to be doing is cutting taxes as supposed to be the Republicans supposed to cut taxes. It just seems to me like it's all messed up. I mean, are we supposed to be well, the Republicans don't the, the Tea Party people you're talking about, they don't like taxes on them. But as long as they have to pay taxes, they want everybody else to suffer the same abuse. If you got more, Mark, hang on. We can bring it back. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. It's really just people who are abused. I mean, it's a fairly common thing to see abuse sort of passed down generations because people who are abused will also turn to an abuser. I mean, not always. Not always. Sometimes people who are abused are very against abuse. But uh, anyway, we'll come back with more. Your thoughts are welcome. 855-450-FREE. That's toll-free. Brought to you by ProXPN. 855-450-FREE. More Free Talk Live coming up. For all our loyal listeners, it's time for another giveaway. Over the next 30 days, our friends at SupernaturalSilver.com are giving away six 16-ounce Supernatural Silver liquid valued at nearly $100 per bottle or their skin and body gel priced at $49.98. All you have to do is enter and win at GCNlive.com. Hurry, contest ends December 5th. GCN can give you and your loved ones a fighting chance with the Supernatural Silver giveaway at GCNlive.com. How many good people procrastinate? When was the last time you updated your last will and testament, your living will, and your health care power of attorney? If you could get these documents included with your Legal Shield membership for no additional charge, wouldn't it just make sense to have the peace of mind of owning a Legal Shield membership? Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of 
where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a free, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features that you'll find there. We give them away to you. And Free Talk Live is brought to you by BuzzBox. Coffee.freetalklive.com. It's where you can go to get a free pound of some of the best coffee out there. BuzzBox Coffee, shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade arabica now you can get this free pound by going to coffee.freetalklive.com and just paying the shipping cost you'll get on their auto ship program which allows you to adjust both the frequency of shipping and how much coffee you receive in that uh, that package and this is great coffee they know you're gonna they hope you're going to like it and obviously they believe in their product they're going to send you a free pound of it um, you can go and get started now at coffee.freetalklive.com but as an added bonus there's something really special that BuzzBox is doing with Free Talk Live and Kiva.org. Now, maybe you've heard of Kiva. They're one of the microloan websites out there. They're helping people around the world make better lives for themselves by loaning them money for you know improving their businesses, for instance, or starting a business. And so we can do that by every 10 Free Talk Live listeners that sign up at coffee.freetalklive.com. Then we can fund one more micro loan out to. We've already funded more than one. Uh, we funded several, from what I understand. Uh, but uh, new micro loans can go out as each ten listeners get signed up over at coffee.freetalklive.com. That's coffee.freetalklive.com. Let's go to Dave in New York. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live in Poughkeepsie. Hi guys, how you doing? Dave, what's on your mind tonight? 
Uh, this is a uh, continuance from the other night. You asked me the other night if I was jealous of Corey from S&P, from Corey Williams, uh, dude like Kelly, if, if I was jealous. And no, I'm not jealous. I am mad pissed. because You're talking about, around. hold, you got to slow down for a moment, Dave. You got to remember, we've always got new people listening to the show. They don't know who you're talking about, and you kind of stumbled through the statement, so it was hard to understand. You're talking about a uh, blogger, a YouTube vlogger, I guess, a video blogger. Uh, called Dude Like Hella, and you just gave his real name, Corey, somebody. Um, that I had asked you if you were jealous because you were calling to talk about how he's you know, not a good guy or on welfare or something like that. He is on welfare because, you know, I'm, you, you, you asked me if I was jealous, and no, I am not jealous. I am pissed because he does not have a job. He is a welfare leech recipient. I'm betting he gets food stamps. I don't get food stamps. I have a job. I work for, I work for my money. I get a paycheck. But you were on he, welfare you know, previously, right? No. No. Okay. How were you living no. without a job? With your parents giving because you money? I, I was working. No, you'd called in to say that you didn't have a job for for a little while on the show. I had side jobs. Side jobs. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. Good to know that you're... Man whoring? <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't imagine that YouTube is uh, is cutting you a very big check. Uh, I, it just seemed like you might be a little jealous of this guy. Look, if he's on welfare, obviously I don't necessarily support uh, people being leeches if they can go and actually make a, a living for themselves. And if he's making popular YouTube videos, he should be getting Why some sort I? of revenue yeah. from, from that. So, you know, maybe he doesn't need the welfare. Maybe he is just a leech. But why let it bother you? There's, all, there's millions of people on welfare out there. Why is this one welfare recipient the one that's irritating to you? Why should I work, and why should millions of other people work, like you, like Daryl, like your, like your guest host? Why should everybody else in the world have to go out and work for the boss, work for the man, like you said sometime uh, the other day? Why should everybody else go out there and have to work for a boss when this guy is leeching off the government? I am pissed. I am furious. <laughs> but you're, you're only mad at one guy that's on welfare. Yeah, why him? I mean, there's probably uh, 10 people within a, you know, within a half a mile of you, maybe 100 people. I don't know. There's probably dozens of people who are also on welfare why is it this one guy and i'm sure he's not the only youtube personality who's taking a check from the government so why this guy because he's a leech he's leeching that's not an answer, answer to the question that's why you're mad at him but why aren't you mad at all of the other ones what other ones he's not the only person on welfare you know oh yes he is <laughs> they, they did not create the welfare state for this one guy. <laughs> Ted Turner gets millions of dollars a year farm in subsidies. farm subsidies. That's welfare. Corporate Why welfare. are you not yeah. mad at Ted Turner? Who the hell is Ted Turner? Like, like I really care who Ted Turner is. Corey You've Williams probably is watched his television <laughs> networks. Have you ever seen TNT or TBS? Or CNN nope. Nope. or the Weather Channel? Have you ever heard of a Turner baseball owns the team? Weather Channel? Or yes. Did he own it or currently owns it? He's owned it. Wow. Like he's the guy that started the Weather yeah. Channel. So how do you feel about that, Dave? The, the Atlanta Braves baseball team. I'm sure you've heard of that. Are you going to boycott the Weather Channel now, Dave? I am just pissed because Corey Williams wow. is a leech living gotcha. in Alaska. Thanks for the call, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Toll free number eight. That's the only guy in the world that's on welfare. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. So for those who were listening earlier tonight, <laughs> uh, you heard our caller at the beginning of this hour talking about Dave in New York, and there he is. That's now, Dave. He didn't seem to be aware that he was being talked about earlier, so I don't know if he was just calling for the hell of it or if he was actually listening and sort of summoned himself. But it does seem to be that way when you talk about somebody like a Dave that they just sort of show up. Uh, you know who I miss? Scott the Bigot. Scott the Bigot. You know, I didn't like I didn't like it when Scott was calling every night, but it sure would be nice to hear from him. It's because been, it's been, what, like four years since he's called in? You probably are. I don't know if it's been that long, but you might be right. At least three, probably. At least three. Yeah. So there you go. There's Dave in New York. You can check his YouTube channel out. Hudson Valley Guy, something or other. Hudson Valley Guy NY or Hudson Valley Guy 1. One of those things. He's got a few channels. He, he's got several. Daryl pointed out. And there's so many videos. I mean, there's just... It would be interesting to see people pick their favorites because <laughs> it's hard to go through. It's hard to just kind of have to randomly look through and see what looks interesting and, and try it. Yeah. 
So toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Uh, we were talking about immigration and freedom and, of course, the immigration system that uh, you know the government in the United States has today, certainly not friendly towards freedom. The new changes brought about by Barack Obama through the executive order process apparently fairly controversial, but is it going to result in more freedom for immigrants or will it just result in enslaving them even further? And I've got mixed feelings about this. If it does result in fewer arrests, that's a good thing. But if it results in more people just being obedient to the state and paying and obeying, then I, I don't support that. Yeah, it's probably going to wind up doing both. You know, a few more people not going mm. to jail and a few more people becoming obedient. The uh, Obama is broadening his 2012 directive, this from the AP, that deferred deportation for some young immigrants who enter the country illegally. Obama will expand eligibility to people who arrived in the U.S. as minors before 2010 instead of the current cutoff of 20, 2007 and will lift the requirement that applicants be under 31. The expansion is expected to affect about 300,000 people. Applications for the new deportation deferrals will begin in the spring. Those who would qualify would be granted deportation deferrals for three years. Now, of course, the question becomes what happens after that? When the three-year window comes up, what happens? Keep jumping through hurdles. Well, it presumes they will put more options up for you to jump through. Presumably they will because they really want the money, right? Like they, It's all about the money. Yeah, there's fees going to be involved in this. We don't know what the fees are going to be at this moment. Uh, but that is likely what this is. Now, so some people are celebrating this. Uh, Jesus Zuniga, 40-year-old who picks tomatoes in California's Central Valley, said this is a great day for farm workers. It has been worth the pain and the sacrifice. Um, and I don't know. Is it really worth it? I mean, I guess if you're, it's, it's really tough to call this because if you're living in the shadows, yes, you can be taken advantage of. But this, then you'd just be trading that life for a life where the government takes advantage of you. Right. I talked about this this afternoon on my podcast, Peace, Love, Liberty Radio. Which you can download at fppradio.com. And I actually said that I would love to be undocumented, mm. meaning that I don't want this little piece of plastic that says that, you know, like, this is my birth date and I have permission to drive and... The social security number? How about that one? That and the passport and, you know, like, I don't want documents. I would love to be just, like, legally transient, no documents, and... You know, like find odd jobs and survive. You just hate the law, Daryl Perry. I hate. I have an undying hatred for roads. Eight fifty five four fifty free is the toll free number. You can take control of the airwaves. There's more coming up, including a write in candidate who actually won, but not really. It's free talk live. It's Lumber Liquidator's third annual yellow and black Friday flooring sale. Right now, get incredible end-of-year deals before they're gone. There's no better time to get hardwoods like Brazilian Koa for an unheard of 40% off. And all bamboo is up to 30% off. Plus, our thickest and best laminates are 25% off our lowest prices. And get 26-month special financing. Even more deals are added daily in our stores. It only happens once a year. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Majid lives in Nor Devin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules, regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body, normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu-fighting products. Also 
explore our Herbal Healer Academy correspondence courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. For over eight years, Gary Lightman has been the chief executive officer and guiding force behind tech company Media Merge Incorporated. Lightman spoke to reporters this week about working his way up from his humble beginnings as a son of the previous CEO. If you would have told me 10 years ago that I would someday be the CEO of my dad's company, I would have said, absolutely not. I mean, it feels like just yesterday that I started off as a senior executive at this company and now, I'm in charge of the place. Lightman told reporters that he credits his continued success in business to a number of crucial moments in his career, including getting hired by his father, his father's retirement, and a few lucky breaks in between. I'm not going to lie to you, it was a lot of work. I was here for nearly eight hours every day. Someone clearly saw my efforts and took notice. You know, a lot of young people ask for my advice, and I always say the same thing. Work hard, and it will lead to bigger and better things. That's what I tell my kids. This is the Onion News Network. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited here to take control of the airwaves at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, joining you tonight, it's Ian. And Daryl. And don't forget, you can get more of Daryl. As was mentioned previously, fppradio.com is the site for audio of Daryl. And then fpp.cc is your written site. Yes. You can uh, read Daryl's opinions. Uh, you can read some of the news that he posts, as well as uh, you can read his newspaper. Yes, and books, and books that I publish. Which can be Some purchased. that I've ri uh, written myself, some that others have written that I have been the publisher for. So once again, that's fpp.cc for more of Daryl W. Perry. As we continue, we'll take your calls. We've been talking quite a bit about immigration amnesty, freedom to cross borders. Let's talk to Rich. He's in Montana. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Rich. Well, what I will say about freedom to cross borders, if you don't have borders, you know, pretty soon you won't have a country. I don't want a country. Do you? Yeah, yes, I do want a country. How about, how about the country of Rich? That's fine with me. If you want to rename it that, that's fine. No, 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 no. I mean, but, you can have your own country, and I'll have my own country. I'll be the nation of Ian, and Daryl can be the nation of uh, Daryl. No, I, I'm the free state of Daryl. The free state too. of Daryl. You are okay with Whatever. that? Just, all right. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, good. Let so you do agree point. with getting rid of the idea of a collective nation where it puts a bunch of people who didn't necessarily consent under the same banner? Because if uh, I can have my I own nation, then that means I can opt out of the bigger nation, right? You got out. I, I mean, I would like to see Montana secede from the union. Cool. I'm with you there. That'd be great with me. But Ian, I, I need to ask you: You sure you're not a Democrat? Well, I'm actually a registered Democrat, <laughs> as a matter of fact. You are. You are. Where but, do you get? I you. I knew it. I, are you telling me the truth? I, I am. Ian, for, let let me tell you something. <laughs> Ian Freeman ran for governor of New Hampshire. As a Democrat, and came in second in the primary with four percent. 
four percent. How many votes was that? Uh, seventeen hundred, I think, is about what I got well, here. Good for, good for you, man. Keep going at it. Well, I, you know, I hope you, may, I hope you honestly make it someday. The only reason, well, look, I, I chose Democrat I, because uh, in New Hampshire, if you want to have a chance to make it to the general election without having to do an insane level of campaigning and pe- petitioning and stuff like that, then and petitioning but, technically isn't campaigning. I asked you that question, and can you explain to me how any of the illegals in this country for years, ever since I can remember, have been in the shadows? Uh, well, if you are here oh. illegally, then you tend to have to be kind of careful about where you are careful, known. Careful what? They, 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 get off with every, well, they get off with everything. Listen— Originally, that's I'm not from necessarily Chicago, true. You, I mean, some of them. Hold on. You want, yeah, if you yeah, want an answer is, to your question, is, you can talk about being from Chicago here in a moment. But I'd like to answer the question further. Some of the people who are here illegally have to take uh, like the coyote services to get here, and that means that they're contracting with, in a lot of cases, criminal gangs, uh, and they have to work for at the behest of those criminal gangs when they arrive here. They may have a destination which uh, would uh, allow them to work, but at the same time they're working for someone who knows they're there illegally who can then take advantage of them because of that status. Need you to work 16 hours all day, every day. And remember, if you don't want to do it, then, well, there's other people that will take your job. Yeah, or, you know, they might call it. I've worked worked many a 16-hour day. But, it, but that doesn't that doesn't really answer to my point. There doesn't speak to the point I'm making. Be, it has to be an extremely small percentage because they just flaunt it in your face. Who's they? The illegal aliens. What do they country. flaunt? What do you What do you mean that they flaunt here it? They're here and nobody can touch them. And uh, where do you like see this? Who, say, where where, where have the Where has an illegal immigrant told you, "Hey, Rich, I'm here. I'm illegal, and no one can touch me." I'm from the land of illegal aliens, man. In Illinois is a sanctuary state. They that didn't do answer they my question. They and they get away with bloody murder. That, that didn't answer my question, though. You said they flaunt it in your face. I'd just like to give have you give us one example of it being flaunted in your face. You've never seen these rallies on TV. Every uh, communist made May Day we have in this country and everything else, where they're on TV, they're just. Flaunting and telling reporters and everything. How do you know that the people who are on the television set are illegal immigrants? They they're telling me so. I'm un, or, or as with the polite crowd would say it, they're undocumented. So they're telling the news reporter, "Hey, I'm illegal." Ha ha. What are you, you going to do about it? Absolutely. Okay, I'll take your word for it. And if that's now the case, you're, you're, the, the the difference with Ronald Reagan. I heard you ask that question. This was Daryl's question that Ronald Reagan had right, granted some form of so-called with amnesty. Reagan, there was a law, right or wrong, and believe me, I'm not. And then fan of one year after passage of the law, he acted on his own volition to expand who would be, you know, affected by that law. Actually, it, yes, and actually, it was called a signing statement. Now. After no, that that was not one the, year later. That was the day that he signed it into law. He made some statement, and then one year later, he, you know, took executive action to expand the law that was passed in '86 to apply to an additional, I believe it was, uh, either ten thousand or one hundred thousand people. And then George H. W. Bush took executive action to expand that to another 1.5 million people. But he still operated off the same law, I guess. So you're probably more in tune with it than I am. You're probably right. That they're expanding but, but, who is being allowed to do what, and that's basically what Obama is doing, is here's no, the law, we're, that, expa- we're not going to deport these people that have been here for at least five years, and that's what the law that was passed in 1986 was, was for people that had been here for at least five years. So my question is, when George Bush and Ronald Reagan took executive action to expand the law that was in effect, how is that different than Obama taking executive action to expand the law that is in effect? He didn't. He 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 gave a whole new class citizenship. Who? 
five million people. And, and, and he's I not giving them seriously. citizenship. He's saying we're not going to deport you right away. Do that's not the same as giving citizenship. Do you have any doubt in your mind that's not how it's going to work in this country? Uh, yeah, they're, they're saying that they won't deport them for the next three years. That's not the same as having to pass a citizenship you, test and going through all that. Do you have any doubt in your mind within the next three years they're all going to end up citizens of this country? And they're all going to end up, a vast majority of them, you know, the, the, what I, I heard today that Silicon Valley is really pissed off because they were oh, expecting How does a body of land and have feelings? That's what I've always wondered. This, Look, this, Rich, why don't you just admit it? The difference between what happened in the 80s with Ronald Reagan and George, George Bush versus Barack Obama is they're Republicans. And you'll no, give them no, a pass. No. <laughs> right? Barack Obama is a communist, and he is nothing but, in any def definition of the word today, a tyrant, a dictator. Which president wasn't you a know communist? It and I know it. Which which president wasn't a communist? George W. <laughs> Bush, Bill Clinton. No, I George well, Bush. Clinton Clinton's definitely uh, has communist leanings. William Henry Harrison. Wait a minute. No, wait. It, now, if if the government, if a uh, the president gets elected and doesn't do a damn thing to repeal all of the communism that has been passed in the United States, doesn't that by default make them a communist too? At this point, yeah. Okay. But, you know, I come from the school of thought, yeah, and you can't go me into this stuff because I've given up on this, on this country and this government. I think it's all lost anyway. Good. Well, let's talk more about secession. That's something we can agree on. I mean, you guys in Montana... You need to have secession there. We'll do it here in New Hampshire. Let's have 50 states secede. How's that sound? Listen, the feds would have a hard time with people in Montana because most people in Montana are like me. Well, the feds aren't going to do anything. I mean, the feds, what are they going to do about it? If not, if Montana secedes, you're right. They're not going to roll in tanks because you guys are armed, and so is um, a lot of New Hampshire. Yeah, we're uh, armed well. big time out here. Yeah. So. And believe me, they won't take them away from us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rich, I'm with you there, man, and thanks for the call tonight. And by the way, I never got to finish my statement about why I ran as a Democrat. Um, I ran as a Democrat because I wanted to challenge Maggie Hassan, who was the uh, governor here in New Hampshire. She was the incumbent. I had heard that there was going to be no one who was running against her, and I thought, well, you know, somebody needs to run against her, so I'm going to do that uh, for the purpose of bringing up certain issues like her terrible choices on marijuana issues yeah, she did the right thing with medical, but barely. Barely? Barely. And so I wanted to call her out on that and use the uh, use the opportunity and whatever little media I was able to garner from the uh, the episode uh, to talk about secession, actually. It was one of my other goals with and the campaign. And ballot access. That's correct. It was my third issue. The toll-free uh, toll number here tonight is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can take control of the airwaves. And the other thing is you have to be one of the major two parties to get on the ballot easily in New Hampshire. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency, and Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, and spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. 
Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at LibertyBeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, November 21st, 2014. Gold closed yesterday at $1,193, up $14. Silver closed at $16.23, up $0.17, cents. and Bitcoin is trading around $353. Today's precious metal price is brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. The Liberty Beat is brought to you by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. Efoods Direct is offering 10% off to all Liberty Beat listeners. Just go to efoodsdirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat for your savings today. In the news, a common sense middle ground approach. That's what President Barack Obama called his plan regarding immigration reform as unveiled during a speech Thursday night. I continue to believe that the best way to solve this problem is by working together to pass that kind of common sense law. But until that happens, there are actions I have the legal authority to take as president that will help make our immigration system more fair and more just. The executive order means those undocumented immigrants who have lived in the United States for five years or more, who are the parents of either American citizens or lawful residents, will not be deported. Before that would happen, they would have to undergo criminal and national security background checks. Their status would be reviewed every three years. A Wednesday night, early Thursday morning protest at police headquarters in Ferguson, Missouri, led to several arrests. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch says the arrests stem from a peaceful but noisy rally that led to the short-term closure of a local roadway. Police have not publicly stated why the arrests were made. The protest comes as the grand jury decision regarding the death of unarmed 18-year-old Michael Brown by the gun of police officer Darren Wilson is awaited. Protesters with the Occupy Central movement have been occupying major roads in Hong Kong for eight weeks now, despite an apparent drop in support. Founders of Occupy Central have also proposed that the student protesters find other forms of protest, citing backlash from the community as the reason for change. The Liberty Beat, sponsored by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online, shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Did you know you can support the Liberty Beat when shopping on Amazon.com? Just log into your account after clicking our Amazon affiliate link at libertybeat.com slash Amazon. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, November 21st, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. The United States has released five prisoners from Guantanamo as part of the effort to close the detention center on the Navy base in Cuba. According to the Associated Press, officials say three men were sent to Georgia and two to Slovakia. The release announced by the Pentagon on Thursday brings the prisoner population at Guantanamo to 143. The documentary 101 Reasons, Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, was released this week for free on YouTube. The film explores 101 reasons to move to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project, an idea officially launched in 2003 to make the state the home for liberty-loving activists around the nation. The film includes personal stories from FSP participants and analyzes the historical relevance of the movement. The Committee to Protect Journalists has released a set of tips to protect journalists from eavesdroppers who might pry in their communications. The CPJ made several recommendations, including only surfing websites with the upgraded web protocol HTTPS. The S stands for secure. This applies encryption to your whole connection and keeps you private. They also recommend email encryption software such as PGP. Text messages and phone calls can be encrypted with TextSecure and RedPhone for Android or Signal for iOS. 
Today's edition of the Liberty Beat, made possible by My Magic Mud, detoxifying tooth powder, the most effective and affordable dental care around. Get a 150 application jar at MyMagicMud.com. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your messenger product? The Liberty Beat is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To inquire further, visit thelibertybeat.com slash advertise. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, November 21st, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Now that multiple Thomas E. Dewey High School sources have confirmed that junior Jessica Milley will soon begin putting out, with many speculating that she'll go all the way with her boyfriend Josh Gibson as early as this Friday, Millie's classmates have been quick to weigh in on the news. Jessica was sitting at this table when she told Erica that she was finally going to do Josh. Jessica's pretty hot, so I'm happy with her decision. I was pretty certain the next girl to start putting out would be Amy Courtley because everybody knows her mom's a slut. While the majority of students were somewhat surprised that Jessica might give it up at Andy Wheeler's house party this Friday, possibly on one of Wheeler's two basement couches, Millie's intentions didn't come as a shock to some. Now that the news is settling in, several Dewey High sources are suggesting that Millie's decision could cause a domino effect in which even more classmates begin putting out in the near future. I think I'm going to start putting out in January or February, definitely by prom. Keep checking TheOnion.com for more news as this story progresses. This is The Onion News Network. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about whatever's on your mind. Just dial us up here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, Daryl W. Perry will be telling us about someone who actually won via write-in votes. I didn't know it was possible, but it has happened. It's happened several times. There's actually a U.S. senator that was elected as a write-in candidate. Wow, that's pretty impressive. We'll get to your story because there's a bit of a twist. Yes. Turns out they didn't actually win the election somehow. We'll find out what the details are on that. Got a majority of the vote, but did not win. Yeah, we'll find out how that could even be possible uh, here in a moment. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. If you're just tuning in, we've also been talking about the immigration changes that are supposedly coming due to executive orders from Barack Obama. You're welcome to comment on immigration, freedom, or whatever it is you want to discuss here on Free Talk Live. The Colbert Report, we haven't talked about that yet, On at least with me being on the show. Uh, and I was in the Colbert Report for a brief moment. And uh, we well, was... and Mark accuses me of being in it because they snagged a like two year old YouTube video yeah. that you see me for about two seconds. Yeah, there was quite a bit of discussion about it last night on the show, and I wasn't here for that. It was my night off last uh, last night. So if we get the chance, I would like to comment a little bit on the Colbert Report segment, which of course you can see if you'd like. If you've not yet seen it, you can see it over at freekeen.com. I, I can summarize my thoughts on it in about a sentence. It's a comedy show. Yep. They make people look funny and stupid. That's what they do. Get over it. And that's what they did. And that's what I was expecting them to do. Let's go to Dave listening in New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Dave. Hey, gentlemen. Hey, Dave uh, Ridley well, from actually, RidleyReport.com. Yeah. Well, actually, I think uh, there was a case where uh, a free stater won election through a write-in vote for state rep, didn't he? Didn't Mike Silvio win that way? Uh, He won the primary that way, I believe. Wow, that's great. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Cool. Yeah, so it it does uh, happen, but in uh, the article that I have, there was actually a ballot-listed candidate Hmm. that wound up getting fewer votes, but this guy wound up not actually winning the election, and it's a weird sort of twist. All right. So, Dave, what were you calling about? Go ahead. I was actually calling to try and update you guys a little bit about the Oath Keeper baby case. Do you remember that? This was like a few years ago in New Hampshire. There was a family, a couple with a baby. They had a, their kid taken away by Department of Children and Families? Correct. And the reason, one of the reasons why they took the baby was, was stated to be because the, fa- the father was a member of Oath Keepers. Mm. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, I always get a little sad, you know, when someone gets in the news and they give a bunch of support very briefly and then everyone forgets about them, and that's when the authorities come and snag them. Mm. Uh, and that's 
what happened to baby Cheyenne's dad. Um, in in November, I guess he was put in jail, November of 2013. He was put in jail and has been there ever since. Uh, according to his wife, it had something to do with U.S. Marshals, and they it, it sounded kind of like they pulled some sort of a Randy Weaver type thing on him or they, they wanted to buy certain types of guns from him undercover. You know, they pretended like they were they wanted this or that type of gun. Mm. Um, I don't really know all the details, but I, I know I was forced to pay for whatever they're doing to him, and I don't like that. So they didn't accuse him of hurting anybody. He didn't beat his wife or something like that. It was that he, you know, ostensibly made some sort of illegal gun deal. Yeah, I contacted his wife, and what she said was he's currently got two charges, aiding and abetting, but she doesn't say what he was aiding and abetting. And the other count is lying to a federal agent. So there's two charges. Two, count, two charges. Um, there were some other previous charges, but I think those two are the only ones wow. that remain. It's not likely that he's going to serve a whole lot of time in jail because he's already been in there. It's going to be kind of probably a time-served situation. Mm-hmm. But he could get more, and he's got a trial, I guess, coming up on this. December 2nd, I assume that must be in Concord, in federal court in Concord. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's too bad. I wonder why the gun rights guys wouldn't get behind him. Well, I haven't heard any talk about it. I mean, the only reason I know about it is because I'm just Facebook friends with his wife, and, and I, I see her post sometimes. You know, cause hmm. I, I'm one of her followers on Facebook, and I just felt so sad seeing her post, and no one seemed to care that, she, you know, the, the concerns that she's raised. She's He's really stuck by him, you know, but the two of them, you know, people made fun of them and everything when, when they were in the news, because, you know, by New Hampshire standards, maybe they're not super wealthy, you know, in a place like Colorado or Texas, they would fit right in, you know, <laughs> but, but, uh, but, you know, here it's wealthier and people just, you know, they, they treated them like they, they, they treated them like they were uh, less than what they are. And it's just been, it's kind of neat to see her. I guess, you know, he's been sticking by him all these years. And, so what was the name of the family again for anybody that wants to Google this and maybe learn more? Uh, the Irishes. Uh, her name is Stephanie Irish. Yeah, his name is Jonathan Irish. Okay. The baby's name was Cheyenne. It was sometimes referred to as the baby Cheyenne case. Yeah, I don't, but you know, I vaguely recall some critique on the liberty activists supporting them, you know, some sort of allegations about uh, maybe some domestic whatever, but I don't know. I don't want to say much more than that. I don't know what all the allegations were. There were some people who had said later on, oh, you know, Liberty Community shouldn't have supported these guys, but I forget the reasons that uh, that were given for that. Did oh. you ever hear any, any counter uh, ac- action or rumors? Well, as far as I'm concerned, the guy could be Slobodan Milosevic, and he's still got certain human rights that the U.S. Marshals don't respect. And mm-hmm. You know, one of them is the right to be innocent until proven guilty, to not be entrapped. I'm not positive that they entrapped him, but, uh, you know, they certainly have a history of doing that sort of thing. And they shouldn't be using your money and mine to be bothering people over what kind of guns they sell. No doubt. No, I mean, I totally agree with you. I mean, for everything that I know about the cases, they definitely were wronged. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I guess, you know, all I was saying, I was just wondering if you'd heard the same rumors I had and they were so inconsequential to me, I don't remember what they were. So I don't remember too much of that. I, you know, it, it was uh, there. There were there were people, you know, char- character assassinating him, especially or trying to. I don't remember any allegations of domestic violence. It might have been that they were um, on welfare. Again, I don't know. That's why I say I don't want to say. Yeah, he had. I think he had been on welfare at some point. I don't think he was in 2010 when this issue was playing out. Gotcha. Um, at least he said he wasn't at that time. Anyway, for those who, who want to be involved in some way, uh, his wife told me just, you know, look her up on Facebook. It's Stephanie Irish. She should be easy to find. And you can always send her a message through Facebook if you want. Okay. To yeah, well, that's good. Dave, you are still at it and creating uh, new content over at uh, the Ridley Report channel on YouTube. Uh, anything else you want to update us on? Oh, yeah. I've got, got a lot of uh, Educrat ambush interviews coming up. So Excellent. Oh, channel. I love the Dave Ridley ambush interviews. Thank you for the call tonight, Dave. Appreciate hearing from you. Let's go to Rusty. He's in Houston. Rusty, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Daryl. Yeah, I, I just want to talk about the Colbert, Colbert Report. I, I've sure. I've seen it, and uh, apparently people are coming out attacking free caners or, you know, as uh, destroying the liberty movement in New Hampshire. but <laughs> No, no, destroying the whole free- liberty movement. We've said it back decades oh. from, according to oh, one okay. common, uh, commenter on freekeen.com. Isn't it, though, the Free State Project 
you want to become the dominant force and kind of culture in New Hampshire, why why would you be eating your own? Uh, they should be supporting you, but in my point of view, you moved up there. You're actively trying to promote the message of liberty, uh, form the debate, and you know frame the questions, all that type of stuff moving forward. And you're using methods that you think are going to work out. And these keyboard warriors and other people that are criticizing are usually the ones that sit on the sideline and still want to, in my opinion, uh, or it seems to me, and and still want to act like they're my, the minority in the community when they should be the vocal majority converting people, things of that nature. I don't know if I'm wrong here or if you see it differently. Uh, just kind of look for some insight. That there are some people that, you know, they'll, they'll just be against you no matter what you do. They'll tell you, you should go to Concord and talk to your state reps. And then when you go to Concord and talk to state reps, they want to say, well, you're not talking about the right bills. You, you need to be going to this committee. Don't worry about the election committee. Go over to the other committee and talk to them. And so that there's just people that want to poo-poo anything that you do that is not what they are doing. Yeah, I'll tell you what. If you want to hang on, Rusty, we can continue the discussion with or without you. It's up, up to you. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I've been involved in Facebook drama on this topic for the last 48 hours. Uh, we'll come back with more here in moments, and I'll give you some a summary of how I feel about it. It's Free Talk Live. You can share your thoughts. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You bring up whatever you want. Toll free here at 855-450-FREE. Those toll free no- uh, numbers are brought to you by Pro XPN. And if you care about your online privacy, you need to know about Pro XPN. It's a global virtual private network, and that means that they are encrypting your online data. So what you're doing now without Pro XPN is pretty much out in the open uh, to your internet service provider. They're probably logging all the websites you're visiting and the search terms you're entering, maybe keeping those logs for several years in some cases. You could stop that level of prying and spying by going and downloading the free app from ProXPN. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Grab the app for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, Android devices. Even Linux users can get started with ProXPN for free. And again, it is a very easy process to do that. Now, once you uh, get uh, a feel for ProXPN, you're probably going to want to move up to their premium account with unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world that you can access, you can privately torrent, and get past regionally blocked websites. You can do it all for just about 5 bucks a month by using our discount code, FTL50. That is a promo code that will get you 50% off of the price of the annual account. And that also, by the way, locks in that savings for the lifetime of the account. So when the, that renewal comes up a year later, you'll still get the same price. So go and do that over at proxpn.com slash FTL. If you have Bitcoin, you can save even more on the annual plan. You'll save 62% by using code FTLBTC over at proxpn.com slash FTL. It's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. And ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits at all. Promo codes, again, are FTL50 and FTLBTC. It's a great discount on privacy that is priceless. That's proxpn.com slash FTL. Rusty is back with us here in Houston. Rusty, you are calling regarding the Colbert Report and the... Colbert Report. Is that how it's pronounced officially? The Colbert Report? I've never actually watched a he full He doesn't episode. pronounce either one of the T's. Okay, gotcha. The the Colbert Report, uh, the, they skewered the Liberty activists here in Keene, New they Hampshire. They skewered everybody that was in that segment except for the city councilor. Except for Randy Filio, the city councilor. Yeah, that's that's pretty much true. Um, and I expected them to do that, right? So like when, when Colbert Report... Well, I, I didn't expect them to make the parking enforcer look as bad as they made the parking enforcer look. I expected them to skewer everybody that they that they interviewed. And they interviewed far more people than they actually used for the segment. Uh, for instance, I was interviewed, and you see me in the, the segment, which is a seven-plus minute long segment. This is not a short uh, package. This is a very lengthy package that they put together. And, you know, when, when the Colbert Report approaches you and says, hey, we want to do a story— if you say yes to that, you should know what's going to happen. Yes. You should know that they're going to make relentless fun of everything that comes out of your mouth and that they're going to use creative editing to try to make it look like you said things that you didn't say in a or, way that you said them. Right. So, for instance, I was talking to the mastermind this afternoon. James Cleveland, who was in and the video. He actually told me that after he said, I, I guess you could call me the mastermind, he said, wait, can you edit that out? Can we do another take? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, sure. Uh huh. And so they did another take, and they edited the thing right into right their in. film. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I imagine that was the same thing with him going um um uh when they kind yeah. of caught him doing that too. So yeah, you know they're gonna use the the footage of you picking your nose while you thought their camera wasn't running or whatever. You know they're gonna do everything they can to lampoon you. It's a comedy show, so of course they're going to do those things. And so some people that have seen this have been bewildered. They haven't. They could not understand why. Why would you say yes to the Colbert Report? Didn't you know that they were going to do these things? And yeah, of course we knew they were going to do that. That's why we did it because it's funny, and you know we can take a joke, we can laugh at ourselves. That's all right. That, that's what separates you from Peter Schiff and Wayne Allen Root. They were both on the Daily Show. And both got mocked and made fun of. And they got their panties in a wad about They it. got their panties in a wad. <laughs> Wayne Allen Root went to the media crying, saying that the entire interview was a fraud. And Peter Schiff called the thing a dishonest hit job. <laughs> Rusty, you've been sort of listening to all this. You've been expressing some shock at how some of the people in the community have responded. Your thoughts? Yeah, uh... Thanks for clarifying. I just have a question. What would be probably the most constructive criticism you've taken from, like, another activist? On, where, on like, this issue specifically and the issue of Robin Hooding? Or, or in general, like, uh, ever. Uh, um, one, what of the, one of the ones I can remember specifically was when we were doing the school outreach here in uh, Keene at the middle school. Uh, which was very controversial, and as was the high school one, but not as controversial. The most controversial was the middle school one. But uh, there was some some discussion about you know the message of what we we're putting out there. There, of course, as you've been if you've been listening to the show for a while, you know about Brett Vinat and his show School Sucks, the School Sucks Project. And some people felt like that was just too harsh of a thing to be promoting. You know the idea that school sucks. So we modified the signs to say something like school sucks education rules that way there was sort of a juxtaposition there of like you know we're not against the idea of education we're just against the idea of the government schools and so, roads so that was something that uh, that i specifically remember us changing based on some of the feedback given by by other activists uh in that case rusty thanks for your call tonight appreciate it because uh you know to further I guess expound on what he's saying there. There are a number of people. There's a lengthy thread over on a Facebook group with some of the activists. Uh, uh, I've in heard New it's Hampshire. nearly 700 comments now. 700 posts, yeah, over that. Um, there's a lengthy thread where there are a number of accusations being thrown around. And uh, one of them is that, well, Ian Freeman, you never take criticism and you're always right. And if people are saying, you know, get, people give you constructive criticism and you ignore it and you don't care. And that's kind of some of the attitude of some people. And m my position on that is not that I am not interested in people's critique, but some of it is not, you know, if you're, if you're making critique and you don't know the full facts then your critique isn't really worth as much to me as someone who actually is acquainted with the full facts. And what I mean by that is the idea of this Robin Hooding, for those that don't know, the idea of Robin Hooding is filling parking meters in front of a parking enforcer that are empty filling empty parking, parking meters to save people from getting parking tickets. And there have been some accusations about, oh, you guys are so rude to the parking enforcers, you're threatening, you're harassing, you're intimidating them, which I think those accusations are ridiculous, first of all. But some people don't like the idea that I might tell a parking enforcer what I think about their job, like that it's stealing. What you're doing is stealing. It's not nice to take people's cars from them. It's not nice to leave threatening notes on people's cars. And that's ultimately what, what they're doing. They don't like me talking about that and saying those things to those parking enforcers. And they know the people who are criticizing this activism they know that some people in Keene don't like it because those people have formed a group called stop free Keene. And well some people don't like the court outreach that you do no doubt no doubt so it's definitely true that some people don't like the robin hooding no doubt and there's some people who like the idea that we're filling meters but they don't like that we're so-called harassing the parking enforcers but the the thing that the people who are critical don't know is they don't know all the people who do like Robin Hooding and all the people who don't care for the parking enforcers and don't mind, you know, what the Robin Hooders are out there on the streets doing. We get compliments from people frequently when I'm out, and I'm not out Robin Hooding very often, but when I'm out Robin Hooding, I get compliments on the streets. It's almost a guarantee. If you walk a loop of downtown, someone's going to say thank you and they're going to show appreciation to you. And so they don't see all of the positive sides of things. It's easy to see that people hate. The haters are loud. They post on Facebook. They post on comment sections on news articles. 
Um, and so we'll continue here in moments. 855 450 free. You can take control. This is Free Talk Live. For all our loyal listeners, it's time for another giveaway. Over the next 30 days, our friends at SupernaturalSilver.com are giving away six 16-ounce Supernatural Silver liquids valued at nearly $100 per bottle or their skin and body gel priced at $49.98. All you have to do is enter and win at GCNlive.com. Hurry, contest ends December 5th. GCN can give you and your loved ones a fighting chance with the Supernatural Silver giveaway at GCNlive.com. Hi, I'm John Rainey, Chief Financial Officer of United Airlines, and I'm honored to be the National Chair for the 2015 March for Babies campaign for the March of Dimes. United is a proud supporter of the March of Dimes mission to improve the health of babies and fight premature birth. We're helping the March of Dimes fund breakthroughs in research and community programs that help more mothers have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Please join us in working together for stronger, healthier babies. Visit marchofdimes.org. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't tread on meme, M E M E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value. And they look neat, too. Oh, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy-to-use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at don'ttreadonmeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't tread on meme your path to a voluntary society with honest money. Don't tread on meme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about whatever you want. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features there. But there's some other great websites on the Internet, like antiwar.com. It's where they have the answers, the facts, and the readership 
but they don't have a pot of gold at antiwar.com. The war machine, of course, has the magic of the Federal Reserve's printing press. They're never going to run out of money. Uh, the mainstream media, of course, is also behind them, but all antiwar.com has is you. Their staff is down to a skeleton crew with minimal pay, and they're committed to keeping the website online with the best of the worst of all the bad news, but they can't do it for free. And they can't do it without you. They need your donation at antiwar.com slash donate. And, by the way, they proudly take Bitcoin. Antiwar? They do take Bitcoin. And I saw something today that Roger Veer is doing another Bitcoin matching thing really? with Antiwar. Up to what? 10000 Up to $10,000. U.S. dollars, <laughs> not 10000 Bitcoin. <laughs> Still, but if somebody awesome. has 10,000 Bitcoin that they want to give to anti-war, They'll take it, yeah. they would take it. Uh, Antiwar.com slash donate. Apparently, your donations are being doubled for how long, I don't know. Um, so donate sooner rather than later. Yes. Uh, go to antiwar.com slash donate because war is the health of the state. As we continue here, I just want to finish my comments briefly, and then we'll get back into your calls and thoughts. But what I was talking about is the critics who have been uh, chastising me. You don't take any criticism, blah, blah, blah. Well, I gave an example in the last segment of some criticism that I can specifically recall implementing. And th the thing is, what people seem to think is that we don't care about any anything about what people think. Like, oh, you people in Keene, you just don't care about what people think about you. Well, that's not true. If all we were receiving was negative feedback, I don't imagine many people would be Robin Hooding for very long. Now, Robin Hooding, if you're just tuning in, is filling parking meters before a parking enforcer gets to them so you can save people from getting parking tickets. If we were out Robin Hooding and every person who gave, gave us any feedback was basically insulting us, telling us to stop, telling us to get out of the streets, stop doing Robin Hooding, this is not appreciated, I hate you, get out of town. You know, if there were really negative feedback that was coming in constantly, I wouldn't want to participate in that behavior. And I don't imagine many other people would. And there have been several people who've been involved in Robin Hooding over the years here in New Hampshire, right? Uh, specifically in Keene. So... The reason why we're involved in it is because there's a lot of positive feedback that comes from it. And there's been plenty of discussion all around Keene and the surrounding areas about this issue. It's not like the people who know what Robin Hooding is haven't heard the allegations that we're harassing, threatening, and intimidating. Because the city of Keene has been very vocal about those allegations. That's why they filed a lawsuit against us, because they're alleging that we're harassing, threatening, and intimidating their employees. So it's not a secret, right? Like most people who pay a little bit of attention to the news know about those allegations. So you'd think that the response we would be getting if it was so negative from people would have been like, you need to stop harassing, threatening, and intimidating. Like people would be giving us that feedback. But people give us positive feedback constantly about Robin Hooding. Now, that's not to say there aren't people who don't like it. There are a number of those people, and in fact, some of them are not only vocal, but some of them are violent. So we've actually had physical violence enacted on some of the Robin Hooders out in the streets of Keene. And that's a pretty big turnoff, no doubt about it, and kudos to the heroic Robin Hooders who've continued to do that task, even in the face of thugs who have run at them and attacked them and pushed them off their bikes and things like that. So... Again, my point being that the people who are saying, you guys shouldn't be in threatening, intimidating, and harassing, don't really know what's going on. They just know what they've heard. They watched this Colbert report, and they believed it, uh, or they believed the city of Keene's claims, or they've seen some video where me or Chris Cantwell gives one of these uh, parking enforcers a piece of our mind about what they're doing and why I think it's wrong. And for the record, Chris Cantwell is not one of the people that is being sued by the city. That's correct. Um, he went out Robin Hooding one day, and there's a video of that, and of course most of that made it into the uh, Colbert report. Right. Piece. So like that's the thing where they show like you know there's harassing. They show that video. Or they show a video involving somebody else that isn't in the lawsuit. So basically, they went after the wrong people. But even what Chris Campbell did isn't harassing. I mean, legally, you when you harass somebody, it, you can't be a government employee and be claiming about that you've been harassed. I mean, the, the part of the job description of the parking enforcer is that they have to endure verbal and mental abuse. Now, I don't agree with abusing anybody verbally right. or mentally or physically, and I don't feel like I do that. But I understand that some people are sensitive to uh, being critical of government employees and they feel like well these are our neighbors and we should be more respectful and look 
I can understand where you're coming from and all because you don't want to step on any toes or whatever. But when somebody steals another person's car, I don't care that they have a badge on them. When somebody threatens another human being, I don't care that they're wearing a uniform. I'm going to speak out and I'm going to tell that person that what they're doing, I don't appreciate it and I think it's wrong. And that's what I do in some of these videos. There's one that was re released within the last couple of months where I, I do that to one of the parking enforcers. And it was, by the way, only after she started acting erratic and changing direction multiple times. She changes direction 18 times in a two-minute time frame, going just literally walking back and forth, changing 180 degrees multiple times. Ping, ping. Yeah. And uh, it was ridiculous, just ridiculous behavior. And so I wanted to capture that on video because one of the other goals of my activism is to, you know, show these people for who they are, which is, you know, a bunch of ridiculous, aggressive people who are threatening and hurting people. And I realize that makes some people uncomfortable. But for those people to say you need to stop doing that, you're just not in possession with the facts because people are giving us positive uh, feedback here in Keene. And that, I think, matters a lot. And the people who don't live in Keene, the people who aren't on the streets Robin Hooding, have no clue about that. They don't understand that. So that's been a lot of the griping surrounding this. The other griping has been, of course, we're talking about the Colbert Report that came out on Wednesday night, uh, which was featuring Keene's Robin Hooders, some of Keene's Robin Hooders, except Chris Cantwell, who really isn't a Robin Hooder in Keene, but he made it into uh, the video. This, uh, you know, it's a lampoon piece. It, it it skewers us pretty good, and it was quite funny. I laughed quite a bit, and it was exactly what I was expecting it to be. But apparently a lot of libertarians don't have much of a sense of humor because their response to this, beyond just the critiques of the Robin Hooders, has been that, oh, the liberty movement, it's dead. You, you activists in Keene have killed the liberty movement. And I, I think it was uh, early mover Sean Murphy who posted on Facebook earlier today that if he had a Bitcoin for each time that uh, somebody had claimed the keen activists had destroyed the liberty movement, that he would be very, very wealthy today. So your thoughts are certainly welcome. You can join us here. Daryl, do you think the liberty movement has been destroyed? No. <laughs> Did we set it back decades by having the Colbert Report come to town? If anything set it back decades, it's Bob Barr being the Libertarian mm. Party presidential nominee in 2008 <laughs> and Gary Johnson being the nominee in 2012. Let's go to your calls and thoughts. We've got Jed. He's in Denver. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Jed. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Uh. Just uh, two quick things. First, with the Colbert report, uh, I think you guys did a great job. And my opinion on the matter is, you know, if people don't like something, then they need to go up there and do it their way to show others. Yeah. You know, quit uh, complaining. Uh, anyway. Um, but it's so much was, easier to complain. I mean, you don't have to actually oh, yeah. go out and do things if you just sit behind your computer and gripe about things. I mean, if, if that's what you're doing, if that's your activism is to complain about other people's activism, you know, you're just a joke. I totally agree with you, Jed. I think people need to put up or shut up, but obviously they're not going to shut up. They're going to keep complaining because, again, it's a lot easier to talk than to take action. It is. And, you know, you guys, I don't know what his ratings are, but I mean, you've got significant exposure. So oh, yeah. if only 100 people turn around and say, hey, what are these guys about? I mean, that's probably more than a lot of people, including myself, have done. So, Well, I can tell um, you that I, I, when I was listening to the conversation <laughs> that happened last night here on Free Talk Live, I think the best point was made. I think it was Chris Cantwell who called into the show in the third hour. He said that mm -hmm. imagine what it would cost to buy seven minutes worth of commercials on the Colbert Report. Right. Probably hundreds of thousands, if not a million bucks or something, you know, insane like that. And somebody countered that by saying, well, if you buy commercials, then you control the message. Well, save your money. Because <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can't afford that. Hey, Jed, uh, thanks for the call, man. Appreciate it. Toll free number here, 855 450 free. There's more coming up in the remaining moments of Free Talk Live, which are coming up next. Cabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time, get a free pound to try out the subscription, cancel anytime, coffee.freetalklive.com. 
Attention men, are you urinating often, waking at night to urinate? We want to send you a free bottle of Super Beta Prostate, made with a natural ingredient that supports healthy urine flow, bladder emptying, and is shown to reduce waking at night from the urge to urinate. You can try Super Beta Prostate free. Only pay shipping and handling. This free giveaway is available while supplies last. For details, just call 800-659-5412. That's 800-659-5412. Call 800-659-5412. With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules, regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body, normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu fighting products. Also explore our Herbal Healer Academy correspondence courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live. You can dial toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Moments remain, but maybe enough time to sneak your call in here. You can also join us via Skype at Skype username lrn.fm. With you tonight, you've got Ian. And Daryl. Don't forget to join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. Get interactive there. And if you like what we're doing on Free Talk Live, then shop with us. Go to shop.freetalklive.com and enter... Amazon through the links you will find there. That's shop.freetalklive.com. There's Amazon UK, Amazon Canada, and Amazon US. You just click into the right one for you, get your shopping taken care of, and Free Talk Live will benefit. So it's that simple. We go right back into your phone calls and thoughts. Virgil is in Colorado. You're on Free Talk Live, Virgil. Yeah, um, you know, I've been a libertarian for some time, um, but I've noticed there's a trend with some libertarians uh, to gravitate toward anarchy, thinking that it 
is a cohesive or logical philosophy. And when I think about anarchy, I guess I immediately think of Road Warrior and Mad Max, that it's really something that automatically lends itself to some leader having control. And I just wanted to get your thoughts on anarchy, if it is a system that you think could actually work. I mean, ideally, I suppose it could if everyone were perfect, but that's not the case. And so I would love to hear your opinion on it. Okay, so let me see if I understood uh, what you were saying when you said when you picture anarchy, you picture like a Mad Max sort of scenario, and I've never watched the movie, uh, but there, there was another one, and you said where there's sort of like a ruler sort of person that, you know, they control things. And if you break down the word anarchy to its Greek roots, it means no rulers. So to say that anarchy would lead to some gang being in charge, well, then right off the bat, you don't have anarchy. And exactly. as Mark Edge would point out, you know, like, even if you rule yourself, technically that's not anarchy because somebody is in charge over you. So what I support is voluntary interaction and an absence of coercive government. So that that would not technically be anarchy. That would be probably non-archy or uh, voluntarism is another term. What about that, autoarchy? Isn't that where you rule yourself? Uh Possibly. I, I think that's I, what Mark has said in the past. Yeah, I, I would have to uh, look up the term again to double check on that. But I, I believe in you know voluntary human interaction. I, I don't believe in coercive governments. But ultimately, don't, even with uh, voluntarism, doesn't it seem that with the nature of humanity, we would still gravitate towards some... Um, some sort of a hierarchy in terms of who is stronger, who is smarter, who has the better system, which one provides a, a, a better environment or lifestyle for society. Well, if people gravitate towards something, that sounds like a natural process. So if people want to sign up for a hierarchy, uh, if they feel more comfortable having a queen bee on top telling them what to do, then you know they should be free to consent to having some boss uh, ex you know, explain the world to them and tell them how, the, how to live. That's why a lot of people join organized religion, uh, for instance. And so if it's done on a voluntary consensual basis, that's fine. But what we have now is a criminal gang that knows, you know, that we know of as the government that is uh, enforcing their viewpoint on us. I also don't like the term uh, anarchy. I, I think it you know, evokes uh, connotations of violence and bomb throwing and things like that. And so it's also technically by definition not a system at all. Um, so I want to I want a place where we can set up whatever competing systems we want to, and uh, and have it all compete in the open marketplace for various different factors like you know customer service and you know what you get for what you spend, etc. I don't uh, I don't think that it needs to be a one size fits all solution forced down people's throats, which is what we have today. And there are many examples throughout history of what they call polycentric civilizations meaning that there are many societies that coexist on top of one another to where you and your neighbor might not be part of the same government, but you still coexist. And it's not one of these things of everybody's just raping and killing mm. because, you know, people don't need government to prevent them from raping and killing. It's in their best interest to not do that. Right. Well, can you think of an example, a historical example of volunteerism that actually worked and is working? Uh, yeah, there's an excellent video about the 2,000 years of statelessness in Ireland. There's also a lot of documentation about the city of Medina, which is in uh, now Saudi Arabia, to where there were Christians, Jews, pagans, and Muslims that all coexisted peacefully in the city, living amongst one another. So it wasn't, here's the pagan neighborhood, here's the Jewish neighborhood. It was just, you know, pagans and Jews and Christians and Muslims all living interspersed in the city, all under their different forms of voluntary governments. But what happened to it? Well, that was 
nearly a thousand years ago and things progressed and people moved and different things happened. I don't remember exactly what happened to the city of Medina, but if you're trying to point Didn't and Iceland say, get conquered or something like that by Iceland got royalty? conquered by Denmark, yeah. but there was a lot of statelessness there. But if you're pointing and saying, well, see, they don't exist anymore, so mm-hmm. therefore it Proof would never failure. work, then I, I would say that that's a flawed argument because, you know, it has worked in the past and it can work in the future. No, I agree. I agree. It, that, that's not necessarily saying that it's a, a, a bad philosophy or system. Um, I, I, I guess, do you see potential, I'll, I'll make this quick because I'm hogging up the time, but do you see potential problems or what sort of problems do you see uh, that are inherent with volunteerism? I, I don't understand question. the question of what problems are there inherent in volunteerism. I'd be interested to hear somebody yeah. else speculate on that because, I mean, I can't see what the problem would be with people in consensually interacting with one another. I mean, ultimately, that's what most of our lives are, is people consensually interacting with one another. Everyone you do business with and your neighbors, I mean, almost everybody is consensually interacting with uh, one I another. I went it's to just... five guys earlier today and got lunch, and I didn't have to point a gun at anybody. Right, I, mean, I gave them money, they gave me food, and everybody wound up happy. The only time we're not in volunteerism is when there's not consent involved, which means the government and other criminals. Oh, so like when I was in court this morning. Yeah. And... Now, in sometime in December, I'm going to have to go sit three days in the House of Corrections because I'm not going to right. give them money. But based upon um, the, the fallibility of human nature, if you take 100,000 people who all agree with this system, um, looking at those 100,000 people, is what are the potential weaknesses of volunteerism, assuming they all agree, but inevitably there's going to be some sort of disagreement crime, et cetera, and, and what do you see as the potential weakness? Volunteerism isn't a utopia. I mean, there's still crime. There's still bad people. There's still people who would hurt others because not everybody is going to agree with the non-aggression principle or you know not causing harm to their neighbors. But the idea behind volunteerism is that we can the marketplace can come up with solutions to those problems, some sort of uh, arbitration system rather than a one-size-fits-all court system, for instance, Uh, some kind of competing protection systems rather than a one-size-fits-all police system. It's not necessarily the case that things would be too radically uh, different as far as, you know, justice is concerned. It's just that hopefully justice would be more efficient when they're actually going after real criminals who are hurting somebody. Voluntarism doesn't propose utopia. All voluntarism proposes is to take violence, institutionalize violence, out of the equation. Virgil, good call, good questions. I, th- I appreciate it. Uh, the toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. We go to Skype, where we have Howard on the line in Pennsylvania. You're on Free Talk Live, Howard. Hey, gentlemen. Hey. I was just listening to the show. Enjoy it, as always. I just wanted to comment, like, all the detractors that give you a hard time, I will tell you that I've been listening to Free Talk Live for many years now, and I actually... It's hard for me to think about how many years because it's been so long. You guys have been doing well, and, and I think it's a service. And when people get on your case, I'll relate my experience. You guys have never been anything but gentlemen, upstanding, good people. And I credit you with helping share what nobody else has the guts to say, even though they're, they're thinking it. And they're wondering, why are they paying these taxes that they're being wasted? And, and their gover- the government, not my government, but the government, and a government that I used to support, and I was a, I'm a veteran, you know, I believed it hook, line, and sinker, so the things you said, so people who do say that you guys are bad or have, they don't like you, I will attest that you've never been anything other than gentlemen, so kudos. That's well, it. I was mean to the DEA agents when they came here to Keene, New Hampshire, and I did raise my voice with one of the parking attendants when she was being awful. Uh, to me, and that's uh, captured on video. And some people have crit- critiques of that. I thank you for the call, Howard. Appreciate hearing from you. Uh, you know, nobody's perfect. When you do activism, you're going to make mistakes, but we're doing stuff up here. What about the critics? See you tomorrow night, freetalklive.com. Have you- so the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about, but it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's 
the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, "Let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas." There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. The Corey Moore Show is coming up next, live after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, November 21st, 2014. Gold closed yesterday at $1,193, up $14. Silver closed at $16.23, up 17 cents. And Bitcoin is trading around $353. Today's precious metal prices brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800 686 2237. That's 800 686 2237. The Liberty Beat is brought to you by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. EFoods Direct is offering 10% off to all Liberty Beat listeners. Just go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat 